not have been paying attention. I don't think you was because you was sawing the chicken. Right. You were doing the funky chicken. Yep. I was busy. Yeah. But it's like we couldn't couldn't stop it. Right. Because it was done. Okay. Um new management. What? Oh yeah, they do updates and stuff. But we are live. Is it show? Okay. Good morning, everybody. I'm doing this without my glasses. Not a good idea. No, it's yeah, not. I did, I did pretty good. Did you get your hello in first? That's what I'm doing right now. Probably not. No, nope, Pamela beat me. Good morning, Pamela. How are you? How you doing today, hon? Oh, I, I, I got to give a thumbs up. And turn down my phone. Boy, so many things you got to remember. Sheesh. Okay. Good morning, June. How are you? And it's like, yeah, it's like everybody's popping in. So, good morning, Vicky. Hi, Vicky McFarland's here. Oh, and Vicky, but yeah, because she was supposed to be at a doctor and then. She got them sooner. So that's good. I'm glad you're here, Vicky. Pamela says hurting as usual. Yeah, I know the feeling, Pamela. Me too. My back hurts today. I don't know why. I guess I better mute that one. <laughs> and both, like, both both my legs hurt. But other than that, I'm doing great. Everybody saying hi. Oh, somebody named Sandra's here. She says hello, Pam and June. Do you know it's that, like, Sandra? <laughs> I've never heard of her. No, nope, me neither. The board gal this weekend. <laughs> Lana's here. Good morning, Lana. You're up. Uh, you're up and about early. Goodness. Hello, Lana. Good to see you. Oh my my. I know the early bird catches the worm and all that, right? June is trying to keep her ducks in a row. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I burped. Excuse me. Hi, Pamela. And June says Lana. You know, I love that you guys interact with each other. It makes, um, you know, I have a couple uh, packages to open today when everybody gets here before we get started on our elephant. I couldn't wait. I had to open. You're, you're I, bad. Well, I was bored. You know that one? Bad to the bone. <laughs> yeah. I know your quilt's beautiful back there, I gotta say. I love the bright colors. Lana, I've been at the hospital since before. From her parents' house. 8 a.m. in different town from my parents' house. Oh, that's why you're up so early. Everything going okay, I hope. Oh. We are in the last. Why can't I? Sometimes I can see it. Some, okay, here we go. We are moving my dad to his town right after lunch. What do you mean, his town? In the hospital or? He's not lunch? in the same town right now. Okay. Terry's here. Hello, Terry. Good afternoon to you, too. How you doing? When it's afternoon, well, I'll let you know, Terry. <laughs> long time no see. I I found my little bear that somebody made me. I forgot who, but I found him. This little guy right here. And what are we working on today? It's the, the elephant. And I, it's like, I lost the front page. What did I do? Yes. Did you guys all get the elephant that everybody's been working on? This huge. Just kidding. We're working on this. Hello, Vicky. How are you? Because <clears throat> Kathy wasn't available the day I was goofing off. Th these little things. I think he's going to be awesome when done. 
and I'll put one up closer. And I put, I, I did print out all six pages. <clears throat> okay. And then, but this one has the ear that the pattern doesn't have. It's very simple. And Shirley's here. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Shirley. She says, good morning, everyone. I'll be listening today and we'll check in on chat every once in a while. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. And Terry's excused <clears throat> from the class because she made it the same day I made these two. Lana's going to be back in a bit. Uh, Vicky has no okay. ink. And the other Vicky McFarland got to go over to my TV so I can watch on big TV and chat on phone. Doctor's appointments. Good. Moving on to nerve testing then to possible injections in four weeks so excited all right vicky good news pamela has it printed out she goes oh yes i have it printed out terry i made two already in june yep. that will be better for you with your dad town lana says june yep. yes exactly to be closer uh-huh totally. so, terry, so terry passed with the flying colors now she can do whatever she wants she has a free day from school <laughs> all right very nice well she can make another one she has two steampunk elephants with beautiful paisley terry says typing with one hand eating with the other <laughs> that, that, that's a nice trick i was like well we know she's that. typing it that way rather you than know, voice, you're voice all typing typing and eating yes 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 my daughter wants a bag says terry oh yeah you make bags huh what kind of bag does she want just so you all know i'm gonna get off early today around four because okay. of them going to see titanic tomorrow everything's all messed up so i'm gonna wash my hair today instead of tomorrow Okay. But today would have been my husband's 69th birthday. Well, happy birthday, Larry. Yep. It's like we've all been, Facebook is hit by the kids saying happy birthday to their oh, dad. Right. Yeah. Today would have been my ground. What, today's the 13th? Yes. Uh, today would have been my grandma's 102nd. Yeah. She passed, uh, what, 20 years ago? Vicki, I fell. My shin bone really hurts. The metal bar didn't move out of my way. <gasps> Vicki, you fell on the metal bar? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Wow. Hello, Diane. Hi, 57. Diane. Diane, 57. Yeah. Uh, June says, Vicki, I don't eat her. Don't worry about it. Diane, 57, shift happens. Are you coming on? June, the dang piece of metal anyway. And Vicky says, hi, Diane. And Terry, oh, Sandra, February is a rough month in our house. Vicky yeah. says, yeah. And June says, hi, Diane. February is a bad uh, month for, yeah. I got, I got my grandma and my friend, uh, Denise, and my other friend, Denise's birthday, the one that comes in here. Is the 25th, and then um, my best friend from high school, Cindy, her birthday is the 27th. It's like, so. it, it's, it's not a bad month, it's just a month to remember. But it's like, we try to get go, uh, just go, keep going. That's well, that's what you, you gotta do. You can't, yeah, yeah. You, know, you can't not do it. Um, because May will be five years since he passed, but always in our hearts, never forgotten. Change subject, off we go. You know, my mom passed in 91 in September, and I never forget her. Yeah, you never forget. No. I make sure Jen knows all about her grandma. <clears throat> Vicky says she's okay. No, you're not okay. I'll bet you it's black and blue. I tell her, she says she sent something purple to me. And she's, I says, she was hoping it's not ugly or something. I says, when can purple be ugly? And I go, oh, from a bruise. That's the only sure. time I think purple's ugly. Hello, Gwenny. Hello, Gwenny. And hello, Beverly. Hello, Beverly. Beverly's here. 
Um, Gwenny, how you doing? Bless you, Sandra says. Diane, you didn't answer my question. Okay, everybody's saying hello to June. Hello to Gwenny. Boy, see the respect I don't have around here. <laughs> um, I talked to Susan, guys, on, I think it was Saturday. We talked for a couple hours. And she said to tell everybody hi. And she misses us. So. Uh, Gwenny's doing great. That's awesome to hear, Gwenny. That is so good to hear. We're going to be making an elephant today. I want a picture, Vicky. A picture of what? Vicky Lemire says, hi, all. Uh, Pam says, hope I haven't missed anyone. Terry, I was playing with FPP. I posted it. Did you like it, Terry? I seen, her, I seen her green heart. Beverly says, hello, Terry. And Terry says, hi, Susan. And Gwenny, okay, LOL. Hi, Kathy. Yep, good, good. Uh, Vicky, old camera broke. Oh, no. Vicky, if it wasn't for bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck, huh? But that's okay. That's me, too. Pam, please click thumbs up. Thank you, Pam. Thank you very much. Oh, guess I should do that. Uh, Vicky McFarland. Had my fabric all picked out and decided to make nine mine a purple pansy elephant with hot pink batik fabric for ears. Well, that'll be cool. Vicky, my boo-boo. I'm going to try to come on. Okay, Diane. <clears throat> this, believe it or not, is an elephant. Mine is going to be multicolored. I'm telling yeah. you. Oh, blue. But multi. It's going to be the only multicolored elephant in town. It's like, mine's a batik. I, I picked out some <clears throat> brown peaks while um, I was in closet again. Vicky, those icky bills are coming in. Oh, God, I know, Vicky. I know. Well, that's pretty. Terry says, I kind of really do. I'm going to make more small ones when I get this bag done. She wants a handbag model after a bag she already has. Can she make it any harder? <laughs> LOL. I know, huh? Kathy, you're up to 420. Oh, 420 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> And you are saying to yes to Danny for next Monday, right? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the 20th? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I wouldn't have hesitated, Kathy. I would have said, yes, Danny. That'll no, she, I did. I, she said she wants to get together. We have to talk about it. Yeah. Well, yes, don't forget I'm to saying, get Yes. I won't. Wait, Kathy, wait. LOL. I think mine was, but yours will be much prettier, I'm sure. No. Your steampunk is spot on, Terry. Elephant. Yes. Mine's just funky. It's going to be all different. You know. I'm Danny. Just collect I'm collecting yes, elephants. Danny, if you're listening. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Sandra, your colors are what I was going to make my elephant with. Me and fabric ears. Me. Me. Yeah. A I N fabric E A S. Um, I don't know what the end of that is supposed to and, mean. And it's, I think, and in fabric, the ears. But yeah, I picked the, just a little bit different color brown because the elephant doesn't shade a lot. But I have the one piece done in white so I can explain how it's sewed. Well, think of it this way. Um, okay, what? Um, What color is an elephant? Grayish brown. It's like, huh? I guess they're a gray, a blue gray. Uh, but we had such so many. We had like mm -hmm. fifty three elephants. And none was the same color. On I that. don't have. I don't have Danny's email. So not an expert at. I can give it to you after the thing. Okay. 
Because I was just checking. I go, wait a minute, I don't have it. Probably a top text error, Kathy. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's okay. Gwenny, what color is an elephant? Depends on how many drinks one has had first. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> Starts like, out gray, you know, and then we, last we have, the, the pink elephant in the room, right? <laughs> we had the white elephant store that carried all old older things and whatnot. And then they say the pink elephant if you're drunk, the purple elephant if you're stoned. <laughs> so it's any color you want. There you go. And the Big. paisley print elephants all turned out so pretty. And then a lot of people in that block exchange we did did uh, Japanese fabric. Wow. Beautiful. Because some bet. of the Japanese fabric is very ornate and gold accent and whatnot. Theirs turned out beautiful. But ours wow. has a difference. We're making it a flat head and adding an ear. Which is good. Vicki yep. McFarland says, Sandra, my elephant is a beige and forest green leaf and abstract for ears of brown may still make later. Yes. Yeah, Her original. Pretty. Yeah. Well, you have two grandkids, so you can have one represent the girl and one represent the boy. It works just fine. It's like, because my pink and purple one, Alani says they're her elephants. Alani wants that one, huh? Yeah. She says, my elephant, Grandma. My elephant, Grandma. So I'm going to make two of the browns. I'm just using the scraps I got. June says, LOL, Gwenny. Terry, I found one on Etsy that I love. I am surprised I love it because it has yellow in it, but it's gorgeous in my eyes. Very okay. nice. You don't like yellow? She looked at the bag features. Mm -hmm. Is that what she's talking about? The patterns? Probably, but that she doesn't like the color yellow. Good morning, Lori. I like yellow. It's just, you know. And how is Marshall? Hi, ladies. I'm late. You know why? Hello to all my chatter friends. Hello, Lori. Good morning. Good afternoon. I know you're in Canada, so it would be good afternoon. Yes. And yes. How's my puppy doing? Everybody saying hello to Lori. And so um, Terry and Terry, yep. And Diane's getting her hellos in. She's waking up. She's getting her hellos in. Okay, Diane. Good. Terry says, I'm talking about Ella's sister. I don't like yellow. Oh, oh Ella's sister. Okay. Um, Lori says, currently sleeping. He's a charmer. <laughs> yeah. you know, I was saying today, I was holding Chase, you know, giving his good morning kisses. And I said, why are you so precious? I go, not only are you a beautiful cat, but you're precious and sweet when you feel like it, like right now. Yeah. You know, and he's just looking at me. Courtney did her elephant in yellows and blue. Oh, yeah, I like Courtney's. Hers, like, really bright. It, 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 it's, you know, stuck out. And I... Uh, thank you, Vicki. She gave her a thumbs up. Okay. Um, I'll it, go check this. this works. Thing. What is it? What is it that Terry put up? It's always a surprise. Let's see if this works. What it be, Terry? <laughs> huh? 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 Yeah, that one there, it's got a yellow with pinks or purples or something in there. Ella would probably run. <laughs> Lori says, Coyote scared the crap out of him last night. They were so close. He out, he cuddled most of the night. Loved it. Aww. Yeah, we don't want coyotes getting our little Marshall. Yeah. She posted the link with the Etsy one. I found them pink. I found them blue. I found several different co colors. Ricky McFarland. Courtney's elephant is bold and beautiful. Yes, it is. June says, good morning, Tracy. And Terry says, it's elephant grande. I got to yeah. do that. Diane, Amber is sleeping 
on me sound. <laughs> Amber, there's another cute one for you. Okay, I wanted to ask you, Sandra. Yeah. I cut I cut out all the pieces to the elephant, right? Okay. And, and my hand was about ready to fall off. But now do I get closer, right? I cut along by the dots the of the elephant pieces, right? No, you don't have to cut any closer. Not until you start paper piecing. Don't waste your time on the next step yet. Well, it's not wasting my time. I want to get it done. But um, you want to do it now when you can do it as you're piecing. But next Monday, remember, it's the butterfly. It's going to be your foundation paper piece practice and i'll post that link i'll remember june says i really like courtney's elephant me too june and terry my neighbor has to walk her dog with a spike vest to ward off the hawks one tried to get her dog already oh my gosh where do you live terry tracy i hey good morning tracy sneaking in here uh -huh. i still love that block i wish i could find a pattern for what? Um, for what? The elephant or uh, Diane says, hi, Beverly, Vicky, Max. Did I ever hit the jackpot buying men's sweatpants at such a bargain? Yes, you did. And Terry, I love the quilting on that elephant. I posted it. It's perfect. Yeah. And Terry, that is so sad. I know. What, where do you, what state do you live in? You got to take your puppies out at night. They have to go potty before, you know. The whole Let's day, the whole that, night. Let's see if this one opens up. I'm testing it myself. Yep, it goes right to it. To what, the elephant? Th this is the butterflies. The link I just posted is the butterflies. Let me go check. FPP butterfly. Yep, that's the five pages. You don't have to print page five because it's a coloring page unless you want to color well yeah i like coloring okay then you can color okay you get you're gonna post that in a in a um group yeah i'll it's i'll post it out on the other page yes okay i like coloring you don't like color i'm just going to sew the butterflies and the one thing is you need to print whichever butterfly you're doing, you need to copy that paper a second time. So if you have a scanner printer, just lay it back and re scan a couple copies. Yep, I have a scanner. Terry, New York, there are hawks and eagles and vultures. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we have all sorts of things here. We don't have vultures. We have hawks, owls, Coyotes, fox, and then I've never seen anything like that here. Where I used to live, they had the coyotes and everything, but they they there was a golf course and the, and the apartment. So you had the apartment here, and then the golf course, like it was really close, you know, like right there. And in between was like a um a pipe, you know, a tunnel pipe, and the coyotes went in there and had their babies and all that. Thank you, Sandra, for posting Butterfly on group post. Vicky Mac. And uh, Tracy says, the swirl block on the night in second row up from the bottom on Sandra's school top. Okay, yep. the squirrel. The swirl block. is this On the right-hand side? Yeah, I'm trying to get my finger there. This one right there. Of course, I have to wait. Is it next to the blue one that looks like a, a I can crossroads? take the down and that's what it's this one. It's the coin rouge flower that's on the center. Yeah, that's the one I thought it was. Okay. And it's 3D. Uh, 3D. June says, thank you, because it didn't come up for me. Terry, we have to worry about the red tailed hawks because they are all over my daughter has one peering in her window last week i don't know what he thought he was going to get from her wow that's <laughs> scary they can break windows you know and Lori, it's mating season for coyotes they are very dangerous at this time 
They can be on the other side of my fence or the train tracks. Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. And we had a coyote come in and kill a cat right across the street. Oh. Because nobody had fenced in yards except for us. We That's the first thing we did. We fenced in our yard. Because we lived always out in coyote country. And we, being like but if, if that coyote off. wants it bad enough, they can help that fence. Yeah, but it my my animals had a, a chance though in my yard. Me too, June. She said that's too close for me. Me too. And yeah. the coyotes, they'd walk down my sidewalk. I'd be sitting on my my balcony, you know, on the second floor. Right there is the sidewalk, and they're just prancing like they own the place. Yeah, because they're garbage eaters too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lori or June, Lori, I couldn't live in the country. Oh, I could easily, Terry. Lori, that is scary. A coyote got my friend's chickens recently in Pennsylvania. Oh wow. Yeah. When we yeah, first looked out, when we first lived out in the country, we didn't have a fenced yard. And then when we moved to the next place, we got a fence. We put up a fence because the the guy that we worked for provided the trailer. Well, his dogs would come attack at us. So we put up a fence to protect ourselves. And then when we left there, he bought the fence from us. Lori, Lori said, just listening to them howl at this time, it's, it's eerie. Yeah. Um, they're and, hungry. And you know what? We have pushed them out of their habitat. Yeah. Oh, we got to make more housing. We got to build apartments. We got to do this. We got to do that. So then if, if, if they come in and kill an animal, then, you know, they get euthanized and they're just doing what there's, that's what they do. And I don't think yeah. it's right because we push them away from their habitat. And it just really, really upsets me. The out in the country, we had by the howls one time, they was trying to, they, they act like they're wounded to get our dog to come out to them. And we had to shoot in the air like 20 times and to get them all to leave. There was probably at least six to 12 coyotes out there. They by don't the care, house. Sandra. They don't care. They, they're hungry. Yeah. They have nowhere to go. And, but you know, they, it just really irritates me that that. But they so know Terry what, says they are looking for a mate. And Vicky says, when the live chats have been edited and we can later replay the class videos for them, is there a way to recapture the chat? I don't yes. take the chat down, Terry. It should be. And then it'll go so far. And then you have to hit it again and just keep doing the. Because I do not take down the chat. Some people do, but I leave it up. When the live first closes, it takes YouTube, goes through to make sure we didn't say anything bad, and then they'll post the chat. And then you hit live chat under the video, and it should bring up anything and everything we say. Right. You can even go mm -hmm. back. If you want to re erase something you said, you can go back and remove it. Yep. I can't, but you can. Terry says, well, I wouldn't want a coyote coming face to face face with me i wouldn't either terry but you know i'm just saying it just really upsets me well um diane yeah. says you need a big dog to protect your animals and family and, and they can attack that dog too okay who hid my scissors <laughs> terry, your, tracy. Hubby your hubby did no you did tracy you just don't remember where you put it right i got okay. my green dust bag finally i got a couple of, of uh, packages over the weekend i have not opened them yet um, this one's from Vicki Robles. So let me open it because I know everybody doesn't want to wait all day to start the elephant. Hey, that opened really nicely. First time for everything. Huh? <clears throat> Either that or I spoke too soon. Come on. Open, open, open. Crazy found them. Okay, good. Were they hiding under fabric, Tracy? Like they usually that's where they are. Okay, this is my black and white fabric that she for the um gosh, she sent a lot. For the uh well it takes a yard plus to make the complete filled in uh mosaic tile. 
Okay, this is wonderful. Thank you, Vicki. If you're listening, I will thank you in a little while. Um, that costs nine sixty five to mail. Well, wow. look at the price of your next package. What it cost? Nothing's cheap. Five fifteen. Yeah. Because it's okay. like this my one's from, from Patty. So. This one's not going to be as easy to open. I just put my scissors in the top little end and cut across. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. My paper scissors. Because that, that blue there is some okay. strong stuff. Okay. And yo, Patty's not on here yet. I know. It is my beautiful, beautiful um, gosh, how beautiful is that? When you hold up yours, I'll hold up mine. Okay, it's my rose. All right, we'll do mine first and then Sandra's. All right, she gave me a clip. No, it's a medium sized clip. Nice. Yeah. And a pin to start my first pin right here on the bottom. So I probably have it upside down. Right here is a pin. And then um, it's Velcro. So you go like this and you close it. Okay, I have a hard time doing it backwards like that. Okay, and then she sent a little thing that said thank you. And the leads are for us to store our wonder clips. If we have a couple wonder clips, you just store Pick them on, on the. Like yeah. she has it on, on yes. this one. Is so yours a medium? One? Yes, medium purple. No, medium wonder clip? Yes, it's a medium wonder clip. Yep. Here, I'll so put it up this again. It's beautiful. Mine's purple, yeah. I like it, Patty. I love it. I love it. I love it. So to put it on your wrist, you would go. And you do left or right. Yep. Well, I would do it left. Well, I don't have enough room because of my sweatshirt. Here's Patty. Here you go, Patty. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Got to show it off to everybody, right? All your handy work. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my wrist. Tomorrow we can wear our corsage in honor of Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yo, Patty, yeah. it's on now. It's on my wrist. Yep. Oh, that's so beautiful. But I like the ease of putting it on the right or left. It's very easy because right now right. I have it's it on not. my right side. <clears throat> okay, Terry says. Uh, I put scissors back in drawer my using. Um, Tracy, so adorable, so nice. It's Karen. Good morning, Karen. Welcome. Plus the <clears throat> smell. Lori says, they are so pretty, Patty, and you guys are awesome, says Patty. Aw, so are you. It's so beautiful. Beverly says, hello to Karen. Karen, hi, Beverly. Patty said, I th sent out three today. Wow. And Pam, so beautiful. Diane, cool. I can't wait to get mine next month. Tracy, Patty, they are awesome. Vicky, I was practicing cutting off the mosaic just to get turns right. Didn't come out right, so I reviewed Donna's video. Realized fabric to layer cakes are to be stacked all right sides together at cutting. Well, that makes sense because usually that's what it is. Um, Patty, yours is on its way. Diane. And, and Pam, again, please click on thumbs up. Thank you, Pam. You know, why are you not my moderator? Lorraine, they are very pretty. I might have to get one. Yeah, I love it. It's so cute. It is so cute. She did a fantastic job. 
So when not using it, like Sandra, I'm going to keep mine on top of my sewing machine. I'm going to show it That's off. That's a perfect spot because yes. I can't get in it. So and, if I go like this. And I love the smell. Oh, yeah. I love the smell of it. Okay, it's on top of my sewing machine. See, I have, I have my handle right up there that it works perfect. For the end of all days. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Patty. It is so beautiful. I can't wait for her next one she's experimenting with. Another rose or no. It's like it's perfect for me. Uh a poo-poo. Oh, you like the emoji? Yes. <laughs> Is it going to be big? I don't know how big. It depends what Patty designs. Um, Tracy I, says, I'm, I live for such cute stuff. And then cute, cute stuff. And then Terry says to Ricky, stack them all face up. And June, hi, Patty. Your arms, pin cushions, they are very pretty. Very pretty, Patty, said Terry. And then Pat, Patty says, you're all very welcome. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, then I want one too. Anything you make, I want it, Patty. Anything, like, anything. I hope she knows I'm first on the list. I won't be invoice number one again, though. <laughs> Tracy says, LOL, ew, yeah, no poo-poo. <laughs> Have you no. seen the poo-poo emojis, Tracy? Vicky, Kathy, it didn't make sense to me because I never cut for mosaic. I, yeah, same here, but when, when Sandra was explaining it to me, then I understood. Tracy, I get enough poo poo from my Yorkies. <laughs> oh, and Ricky, I mean, Patty, I'm sorry. I sent Tracy, Diane, and Ricky. Ah, oh, you guys are getting your yours coming in the mail, guys. Ricky Lamere. Yo, Patty's sending out a couple birthday presents. Uh huh. Good, good, good. Diane's birthday present late and Vicki Lemire's birthday present early. And Tracy, because Tracy's such a sweetheart. So, Vicky and we could, all know that. Vicki could get hers just before her birthday. Wow. That would be wonderful. Um, Terry says to Tracy, I hear you. I had four together. I was immune except other people's dogs. LOL. Uh, Diane. Wow, Patty. Thank you. Tracy. Patty. It is good. I still need to send your payment. I will be. I will message you in Messenger. Okay. So everybody remember the thumbs up. Pamela's on it. I'm on it. Thumbs up, please. Pretty please, before we get started on this wonderful elephant. Uh, Patty says, okay, Tracy. All right, so Sandra used solid colors on hers, right? I mean, I'm gonna do a, a like a, I don't know, something out of the 60s, you know, just different, real funky looking. It's gonna be a funky looking elephant. You're gonna have a psychedelic elephant. Psychedelic, yes. Uh, Patty, I have Vicki Robles is done waiting to see if she wanted one for her sister. Okay. So, somebody else I was talking to that was asked, oh, Susan. Susan might get one from you, Patty. We were talking about it. Um, I did thumbs up. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a really, really, really funky elephant. I'm telling you. So I went through the, this week. This is what I got accomplished this weekend. I threw away the boxes that were down here, which made a bigger mess. So <laughs> I need a, I, I did, I threw away like six boxes. And so I need a, um, a containers to put this in. I'm thinking maybe two or three might do it. The big containers, not the little ones. Because, I mean, it's stacked up to my knees over here. Okay. Um, 
Terry, I made the funky chicken. You make the funky Ellie, Kathy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I make the funky Ellie the elephant, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. okay, let me put my bear over here so he's out of the way. But Terry's butterfly out of the same material was gorgeous. Maybe I'll have to check it out. Um, well, she posted it a couple days after because she made, had to make a butterfly to go with her dot and dot, 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 or whatever she called them all you know there's a lot of um background here you just okay. cut as the fact as it says except for you don't have the one and a half by a ten and a half thing because that's the added for the head and then you don't have I, that's it. That's the only one piece of the background you don't have. Is the one and a half, one and a quarter by ten and a half. You need that extra sheet. I need to put it up here so I can see it. But okay. when you get to the ear piece, you just need two, three and a half inch pieces. I'm still going to have to print that out, but not right now. Okay, so. See, it's not on a design board, so I can't stand right. it up. Terry said, thank you, Sandra. Lori says, I managed to sew blocks this weekend, did three, plus two ready to sew all pinned up. It is getting easier. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I got like six of them I got to make. Oh, what? Two for, no, three for the farmhouse, farm girl vintage. And I think five or six for the um, summer moon. So I got a lot. They're all, they're all cut out, ready to go. Um, Diane says, LOL, Terry. In June, I have a lot of fabric. Christmas fabrics are in big containers. Yeah, that's what I need to do, June. Pam, I was supposed to have pieces cut before class. Oh, it's okay. I don't. We'll we'll do it together. Right. Don't worry. No worries. Lori. Are, they, are yours cut, Pamela? No, she was supposed to. I have so not much scraps. Are we supposed to? Only finished one project. This quilt is generating scraps. It's Lori. Yes, we're supposed to cut out. Did you print the pattern, Pamela? Vicky. Yes. Yeah. Don't ask me anything during this live chat. Response is very slow and cuts off. If this continues, I will be watching replay. I just need okay. to make sure those steps show up for so Okay, okay. June, glad to hear that, Lori. You both need to get adjusted to each other. Exactly. Yeah, see, mine are right here. I haven't done any cut in either, Pam. So we're on, this, we're on the same page, okay? And Miss Bored out of her gourd this weekend cut everything. Twice. How many did you cut, Sandra? Two. Two. Okay. See? One. One. Two. Okay. She says. Pam says they are not cut out. Okay. I have the pattern part. Okay. That. That's me too. Diane, I'm taking meds. Want to make the elephants? Okay, Diane. You got to come on. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. Talk Kathy through it. She's gonna grab her background pieces. Her back back decide which is your background. Make that decision first. Okay, and should I do make it a good contrast from what you're gonna make the elephant body? What's your body gonna be also? Okay, these are like picnics out to out to the beach or whatever. Okay. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking this one would be a good background. Well, okay, of these three and this one, which one do you think? That one has less, might be less busy. I don't know. You'll have to unroll them and see who, who's the busiest of the two. You want the least busy. Okay, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one off. Susan's in the chat right now. Hey, Hello, Susan. Susan. Hi, hon. How are you? Good to see you. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this one out and see how it's just a bunch of llamas. So I don't know. That should that should be fine because it's less busy. It's, that's the rolled up one or the folded one. That's the folded. Okay. Your rolled up would be the um the beach, the watermelon, the ice cream, stuff like that. Okay, so these are the ones that Susan gave. Okay. They all they all contrast the barbecue. The beach, the um, you know watermelon, and all that summertime. So these are all together. So okay. I can do these three and make well, this. You only, need, you only need two colors. Okay, so that's it for the. Oh, I guess so. Huh? Okay, yeah. make this one the background and this one the um, the elephant. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. So grab okay. your background one. Well, let me put this back. I don't need it. Okay, everybody's saying hi. Susan says, I'm okay having a bad... Oh, no, Susan. What's the matter? I know Mondays are bad for a lot of people, but... I hope you're okay. Okay. Hey, I got it back in there. Give me a hand. Look at that. I got it back in there. I've never done been able to get it back. Look at that. Okay. So I don't need this. Okay. So let me set that up there. I don't need this one either. Okay. So this my background and this my elephants. Because I like, in this one, I like the pinwheels with the umbrella. and Yeah, stuff. it's going to make your elephant stand out more yeah. with all the pretty things. Okay, I think it's going to be cute. All right, so. Unroll and iron out. Oh, you shouldn't have to iron too much being as they're rolled. Yeah, make I do. Back. Yeah, I do have to iron it. So let me go over and iron these two pieces. Thank you, June. Great to see you, says Tracy. Uh, Vicki McFarland says, oh, my goodness, it's our shady Susan. Hello. And Susan says hi to Pam. And hi, Tracy. Okay, Vicki's back. Okay, welcome back, Vicki. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, this Vicky, is really cute. Vicki Lemire, did you see the posting from Yo Patty? Man, right. she's back. Okay. Oh, I just knocked over my grabber. Stay in one place, please. And must be the the day for bad days. Yeah, Vicky. It's like, don't jinx me. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing's went wrong yet. So don't jinx me, Vicky. Yeah, me either. So far so good. So, Pamela, you can start cutting out your background pieces. And if you want the elephant with the ear, you'll need um, two addi uh, an additional background piece and two additional elephant colors. Vicki Lemire, being she said no, uh, Patty G sent out the pin cushion. I don't know if you've seen the, the pin cushions. There's one in the mail to you. And happy birthday. From Patty G. So watch your mail. 
should be there should be there by Friday. It better. Yeah, it went out today. So <clears throat> keep your eyeballs on the on the mail. Yep. Don't go in the post office. Just keep your eyeball on the mail. Because uh, Nick fell at the post office not long ago, too. They have steps to go up into their post office. They have to climb steps to get in their post office. And it's just not one. Okay, Patty G, she's saying thank you. Okay, here's one. Don't pull. Says yeah, Thursday, like for all one. three. Okay. Who's average? Mine, nice. mine came a whole weekend early. You got lucky, Sandra. Yeah. You know you do. So mine must have got here Saturday. I. It's, Yes. Oh, because Tracy's that said Saturday. Thank you, Tracy. I got mine Saturday. And the one from Tracy sent was came in Friday instead of Saturday. That's how it was. Everybody's came in early. And thank you very much, Tracy. What Tracy give you? Remember those links on Fat Quarter Shop that she shared? August 22. Oh, Kona that beautiful purple. fabric. Fat okay, Quarter yeah. Bundle. I remember, yep. And then the Kona Fabric Solid Fat Quarters. Wow. I'm, it's like I was going to refold these to where they all stack together, and it's like, no, I'm leaving them just the way they are. But very pretty, Tracy. Thank you. How many came in your fat quarter bundle? My, it's like three, six, nine, 12, 15. Wow. Okay. So that one, and then this one, 12. In the solids, it was 12. Okay, so here's my my pretty fabric, all cut, uh, all iron. Okay, it's like v Vicky Lemire and I. We was talking, and she said something about I hope the purple's okay. I says the only time purple isn't okay is when it is a bruise. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's I good, Side of my head was pretty purple. It fit my color, but it's like nah. Um, Patty to Karen, can you send me another message on Facebook? I accidentally deleted it. Yeah, oh. Susan, Susan says, hi, Karen. Hope you're well. Terry, I have to run out a minute. Be back. Uh, Beverly said, beautiful, Sandra. Tracy, you are welcome, purple, Sandra. <laughs> okay, Patty and Susan, I am working on my Atomic Starburst by Violet Crafts today. Is that another um it's, it's foundation found paper piece? Only the twinkly stars are foundation paper pieced. It's it's a little bit of both. Diane, um sorry hubby was yakking at me. <laughs> okay, we got oh they, they got names, huh? Al Algo Algodon. Algodon. So Becca was sewing it together the other day on her live. You know what? I keep oh for the last two weeks I've missed so Becca. And then I think about it, I go, oh, I missed her again. I don't get it. Yeah, that's one of the quilts I've been wanting to do for a few years. And it's like I keep telling myself, no, 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 no. <laughs> I keep telling why? myself that. Why, because, why, 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 why? Because my UFOs aren't, and my quilts I have planned aren't getting done because I keep finding something else. 
Yep, I know that. Um, Susan, yes, foundation paper piece and Kathy, and it's going to be beautiful when I finish the Starburst. I'm, I have no doubt, Susan, that it'll be beautiful. The, um, the Starburst is what makes that quilt. Is that what the one's all different colors? Vicki said, hi, Patty G and Karen, and Diane says, hi, Susan. Okay. It's so, not a pattern, but might be um, able to find it. This is really cute. I'm looking at the, the two different fabrics now that they're open. Here's this one. Isn't that cute? That yes, reminds I me of myself at summertime. And then this one. I love how they did the umbrellas in, in the pinwheel. But yeah, they're both very cute. It's going to make a cute elephant, I tell you. Okay, so that's the elephant. So what am I going to cut out first? The background? You're going to start with your background, yes. Okay, it says one fat eighth of each. Um, these are fat quarters. Will there be enough? Yes, an eighth is half of a fat quarter. Okay. But but you have to have just a little bit more because of. Okay. Background first. Okay, so I can set that right there. Copy. Okay, I push that under my. Okay. It's like, hopefully this isn't too long. Oh, it isn't. This, the link I just put up, Kathy, is the Atomic Star first to, for you to go look at. Okay, let me go see. Diane will be right back. Okay. Okay. Diane, come on. Oh, I like it. That is very, very pretty, Susan. That's, that's what Sobeck is sewing on. It's 1080. Um, we're at Atomic. That that spot. Oh, quilt that, in a day. That, you can buy the whole pattern while you're there. Quilt in a day. I think I will. Okay, and then add the um fabric. Why? Because I don't have any, I never have any fabric. It's I don't think, do they have a kit? I don't know. Oh, let me see. I love, love quilt in a day. But it says it's 10 square friendly, which is a layer cake. Okay, the atomic, atomic square, is that what it's called? Atomic starburst quilt pattern. I, I didn't see anybody with kits because the pattern's been out for a while. Because that fabric is not available anymore. That fabric line that they use. Right. Um, but I don't remember seeing anybody kitting it. Yeah, there's no kit for it. Um, so what kind but of... All you have to do is buy a layer cake. Because it says, someplace I read... You need a layer cake of the background and a layer cake of the color or a color like this. You need a con a two, two colors that go together. You need a print one and a more solid one is what they suggest. I read on there, but it's like. It, wow, these AccuQuilt, those are whew, expensive. Okay, so um, I'll have to come back to this. So it's called Atomic Starburst, and the, and the layer cake is, uh, what'd you show me, Sandra? It, it wants you to have a print and a solid, is what they suggested on the original pattern was a layer cake of each 
that way your print one is the bigger di diamond that's in there and then your starburst is the solids is what they're yeah. suggesting one solid layer cake but you can find those things on sale at quite a few different shops here lately mm -hmm. like Donna Jordan just had all their boutiques on sale. Pattern. I don't like boutiques. Yeah, it was only 10 something on Quilt in the Day for the pattern. I'll have to go back and look now again. Can't remember okay. from here to there. I know, I got it. I love 1080 on Quilt in the Day. They have three patterns available. Mm -hmm. I love Quilt in the Day. That's where I got the sewing machine pattern over there. I got a lot of patterns over there. Yeah. And June says you can come back and shop later, Kathy. Let's get yep. back to the elephant. That's what I did, June. I wrote it down and I can come back. Okay. I'm on the elephant. All right. So um, two squares, one and a half. Okay. Oh, it's like I sat my pattern down. Yes. Some are rectangles. Yep. And then you have the big rectangle for the top of the head, which is one and a quarter by ten and a half. That was the first piece I cut off because it was the longest. Where's that at? That's that added ear. Oh, okay. Well, hang on, Sandra. Yeah. Just take on right on your pattern right there. Under the word would, would from it, background would it be, fabric. Uh -huh. Add one and a quarter by ten and a half top of head to attach ears okay okay one and a quarter by ten and a half one and uh, a quarter by ten and a half yes kathy for ears right yes and you can buy additional papers when you order the patterns at the same time it take it on the one shop. It took from twelve to eighteen dollars through Violet Craft itself. Oh, Violet. so buy the buy the paper to foundation paper pieces. But, it's like, but everybody else that I read the reviews, they said they just took the one because it comes one sheet that you have to print. They just ran them through their own printer. Okay, Diane says, Kathy, I took the meds, finger crossed, they will get pain under. I hope so, Diane. I hope so. Yep. Susan, buy your paper too, Kathy. You will need it. Does it come in, in a big? Um, it comes in a small, it comes in one of those, like that envelope that had the pattern. That's all the bigger it comes in. It's eight and a half by 11 sheets folded in half. Okay, buy, buy paper. Okay, thank you, Susan. I'm just going to, I was just going to print off my own papers. F-P-P. -P. <laughs> but now that everybody's doing it, I don't want to do it anymore. Even though I think it's a beautiful quilt. The Starburst? Yeah. Okay. Um, Diane says, thank you, Beverly. And Beverly, Diane, you're welcome. Susan, I use the paper in my printer at home. Yep. I don't have that kind of printer. I don't, you don't think. have her printer. Oh yeah, I have a paper printer, but where would I go to print it out? Uh, no, the scanning that has the top lid that you pick up and you set your pattern on the top. Okay. This is this. Let me unfile this. Okay, Diane's made another mug rug this weekend. Awesome, okay. Diane. But okay, hey, Kathy, here. this is a scanner printer. It, yeah, my printer scans. Okay, that's all you have to do is set your paper back up here, press black copy, and it'll print out all the extra pages you need. Where Where is the papers at? I mean, just buy the paper or? It comes with your one paper that you don't cut up. You can't keep it. So if you ever want to make another one, it comes with the instructions and one page to print out. Oh, like the, the um, elephant. Right. Correct. Okay. Just don't go to that place, please. 
<laughs> the elephant. <laughs> yeah, don't return to Staples. Well, they wouldn't know you anyway. No, no they don't know me. Okay. I discovered, do you guys, have you guys ever heard of Ben Franklin's? There's one here. It's a craft yeah. store and all that. Yes. Ben took a picture of it. It's right by my house along with everything else. And I'm going to go check it out. And they have a fabric department. Do they? In, mo in most Ben Franklin's, they have fabric. Yeah, this one's a pretty big Ben Franklin. They took it's them not, away over small. here, but they kept them over there. There's Monroe and a couple other places. But I've been to several of the Ben Franklin's over there while I'm over visiting family, our friends. Yes, there is one, and I'm going to, it's really big. Jen, like I said, Jen took a picture of it, at the outside of it. They it's over in, in the same shopping center at Staples. Because a lot of them participated in the shop hops when they had shop hops still available. And you got a shop hop coming up in June, I think it is. It's called the Western Washington Shop Hop. And where's it at? It's all over this that side of Washington. You go in and you get a free. It's supposed to be. It used to be a free pattern. And then if you wanted a kit, you could purchase the kits. But the pattern itself was free. But each store had a different pattern. So when you put it together, you come out with a beautiful uh, sampler quilt. Great. I've made one. One from over there, because it's a lot. We did that one, row by row. And then we went down to one in Oregon. We did three shop pops in a weekend. I started up in the, right in your area and worked all the way down to Salem, Oregon. Wow. And then there's another time we did highway 101 which is all the oregon coast highway which you it's you was on i-5 we, yeah. we we don't do i-5 to oregon we do 101 and then it also came in and did the oregon shop hop well because when we came up here we were we took it all the way up to i-5 from um coast to mesa and that isn't the pretty road Highway 101 is beautiful. It's all along the ocean edge. That's what I wanted to do, but... Yeah. It's longer because it's windier and only two lanes. But the views, the beautiful views of the ocean breaking and the twin rocks and the lighthouses and... Well, we had a lot of ocean where I lived before, so I was right by the ocean. I'm actually glad to be away from it. I don't have to smell it anymore. Oh, our, our ocean doesn't have that. It's, it's, it's stunk. Possibly. It smelled like dead fish. Oh. And you know, the sometimes water. like I would go in the shower to take a shower and turn on the shower and it would smell like dead fish. Ugh. Okay. Um, buy your pee. Okay. And Beverly, Diane, thank you. Da, 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 da. June. We haven't had a Ben Franklin for years. Yeah, I want to go check it out. Uh, 35 years? Wow, that's a long time. I mean, yeah, mine's I've been never about, been in a Ben Franklin, so. Yeah, mine's been at least about 25 years, 20, 20 to 25 years ago, our Ben Franklin left. It was fun going over there and going through the Ben Franklin. Sure. That's why I want to go see it because it's something new for me. Um, let me see. Hmm. There's pros and cons to using the news unprinted newspaper, Diane. If you make a lot of mistakes, that paper doesn't live very long. 
they do have a foundation paper piecing paper that you can buy, yes. Yeah, I have some of that, just plain foundation with nothing on it. Is it a light cream color? Um, let me see. When I tried using that on my bear, because it was my first big foundation paper piecing, if you had to take anything apart, that paper just crumbled really fast. It's like, it's like a white. But I used to always say, remember that thin white. paper that we used to have that you could see through it? That's what we need for foundation paper piecing. And I just happened to find a bundle. Of course, you don't like me. I do. <laughs> okay, here's the, I got it. I have this. Oh, foundation paper piecing, it, it doesn't take long. That's why you do the smaller stitches. It doesn't take long to pull that paper off. Because you stretch corner to corner, diagonally your pieces when you're ready to take it all off. You just give it a yank against the bias and off it pops. See, um, a lot of people complain about the um, pulling the paper off. But, like it, it. but it's part it that's what foundation paper is. The part that's the hardest to get off is the little tiny outside in the quarter inch where they're all sewed and meet together. Those mm -hmm. are the hardest little papers to get out. But if you think about it, when you wash it, it's going to disappear. It's just paper when it gets wet just falls apart. Yeah, but you don't want that in your washing machine. It's not going to be because it's going to be in with the batting and all that stuff. So a little tiny pieces doesn't matter, but the big pieces you have to take off. I mean, th they're so little that it's, you can't, you're, to spend the time with your tweezers to get in those little, all those little seams that overlap is uh -huh. takes forever okay um okay so from from this background you want me to do one and a quarter by ten and a half yes you need a one strip ten one and a quarter by ten and a half that's the top of the elephant's head okay i think this is a 12 inch ruler um Diane says it's so easy to take off. Susan says I use regular foundation paper piece, uh, Diane. To and get them in large? Newspaper is hard to find. Yes. The news yeah, break. mine's large. Mine's 12 inch. Um, Susan, but you can use regular printer paper if you have to. That is what I used on my elephant, and it worked fine. Um, yep. Diane, I found it on Amazon. That's where I got mine on Amazon. Do they yeah. make 11 by 17 paper that you can take into the Kinkos or whatever? Because the elephant has to be enlarged on the large paper. Right. Um, 14 mm -hmm. by 17, whatever that size was. It's, 11. It's, Maybe it was 14 by 17. Yeah. Um, June says, thanks, Susan. And Susan, you use a smaller stitch length. On your sewing machine, it makes pulling paper much easier. Also, you are welcome, Jim. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard people say that too, Susan. Smaller stitch. Okay, so this is a 12. I only need 10 and a half. One and a quarter. But we all do what we can afford and what we have available. Exactly. Exactly. And my friend, when she tried getting it at Kinko's or wherever she went, they don't carry newsprint in that size paper. They only have the white. So supply and demand and what they have is what you do. Yes, mine was white also. 
So, because I love when you said that. Yep. Because I also bought the courthouse steps I want to do. I've been wanting to do that for years. So. Hello, Gisela. Good morning, Gisela. Okay. One and a quarter. By 10 and a half. Yeah, I'm just looking to see what would be the better one to cut off. And did you have a good weekend after getting all rested up to sell up with the grandkids? We hope you did. <clears throat> this is so awesome how it, the the creative grids i love it i cut mine all out with an omni oh it shows you where the quarter is and all that i just i love it i love omni grid too but so it tells you, see, like right here. <laughs> your line is this big white line right here is your quarter. Yep. Follow it down. I got the same thing on my Omni grid, a line all the way down. The Omni grid, I do love it, Sandra. I really do. I've, you know, been using it for years and years. I, yep. In fact, I didn't even get a six by 24 um, creative grid because I love my Omni grid. But sometimes it's hard to see the yellow. Yeah. It's, 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 it's every, everybody has their own things. Mm -hmm. I'm not, unless I break it, it's not being replaced. If it's one I use that I break, there's some up here I could break and wouldn't, I'd never replace. Now, Never. if you if you broke it, would you get another Omni grid? Probably. Hello, Dave's arm. Dave's arm. Yeah, Dave's getting me something to eat, so I guess I better move this out of the way. Okay, good morning, Sandra. Hello, good morning, Sandra, and good morning, chat. Who? Yeah. Everybody in the chat. Oh, good morning, chat, Zoom chat, whatever. Good. It's like you. Good morning, Dave. It's well, Chad. Yeah, every still Chad. morning. It's still morning. I'm checking. I made sure it was still morning. Yep, it's still morning. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let me eat this real quick. <clears throat> and I'm going to be by myself tomorrow for like um pretty close to four hours. Ew. Should I send in that Chippendale dancer at what time? Uh, noon will be good. Yep. This will be the longest I've been at home by myself in a long time. So. Well, I really won't be by myself because I'll be on chat. But, I mean, on, on Zoom. But here... It'll be nice and quiet. And Lisa's here now. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hope all's well. Did you have a good weekend? So I'm guessing, let's see, the movie's at 11, or starts at 11.45, so they'll leave around. 11 30 because it's right across the street everything's right here i love it <laughs> and and then um well i'm serious everything's here and then no. um, Lori clark wrote where's mine i'm ready home alone love you sandra <laughs> lol <laughs> diane <clears throat> not great but i'm looking <clears throat> gosh <clears throat> Not great, but I'm looking forward to remission from this. I took meds to try to control it today. Okay. Terry, 
Okay, I'm back. I heard a bit about the papers being ripped off. I did half of that heart sewing over the paper and the other sewing next to the paper line. I'm yeah. doing great, Gisela. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? And Terry, I'm going to try the freezer paper next. I'm so exhausted today, but I have to get something done. Lisa, hey, Beverly, gives her hugs. And then Patty, I had issues with my all excess bag. Help. I have freezer paper. Can you use that? Patty, what did Patty's did both? What do you recommend, Patty? On foundation paper piecing. Freezer paper or regular paper? I say regular. Did you ever do both? I mean, did you ever do freezer? I tried the freezer. I just didn't adjust to it. Okay. And you have to clean your iron after, too, because that starts. Because whatever's on the, the freezer paper, which some people say it's wax, some people say it's plastic, but it gets on your iron. And I, I don't think it can be good. I'm not. But Courtney doesn't use it either, so. No. How is she Courtney? Tried it. She was going to try and be on today. Okay. Still tired from kids and packing okay. stuff, says Gisela. I know. There's Patty. Patty's response. I recommend regular paper. The freezer paper is hard to tear away. Okay. There's from a person that made on her second foundation paper piecing um big project lori took the pup out for his first and second walk through town the other day it was fun met some people avoided dogs and squirrels he does let you know yet i was so lucky well nice nice lori vicky what are the measurements for the printed fabric for the ear not the background it's, the, it's up there pat uh, vicky the it's ear is just oh, yeah. three and a half by three and a half, Vicky. It's just two three and a half inch squares for the ear add on. It is just two three and a half inch squares of the elephant color. Um, Terry says, Well, on small things, I'm going to use freezer paper. Interesting, Patty. And Lisa just, just um, says hi to Susan and Gisela and June. And to Troublemaker Terry. <laughs> Terry, I think if you use the freezer paper and sew next to the line, you can peel it. I will be the guinea pig, not making another big. Okay, Terry, let us know how it turns out, okay? I first have to start my daughter's handbag. And Gisela. Yeah. Patty, due to the economic reasons I use for FPP, I fold and sew and can reuse the paper. Yes, you can do that. But Patty's on her second. Tracy. Oh, Gisela says due to. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many foundation paper piecing Gisela has done, so can't say. Um, Tracy, Sandra. Did you see the Purple Mountains Majesty pattern on quilt in a day? I didn't look any further <laughs> than putting up the link, Tracy. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm sure there's a lot of pretty patterns on there. I'm sure there's lots of pretty patterns. There over. is. There is. Those sites get you every single time. It's like Robert Kaufman's free patterns and that. Well, it's most like, of them I saw her make on her, when she had her, her show. <clears throat> um, June says, oh wait, Ricky says, what is the piece number for the ear? And then June says, man, Terry, you just accused of whether you even good, I think that the troublemaker just got here. LOL. 
Patty Kateri. Yes, so next to the fold will work fine. I think you basically should try all and find which sub you like best or which suits you best. Terry, I just went for a walk. I saw my neighbor's dog just run roaming around. Then I saw the squirrels trying to scare the stray cat away. Then my neighbor's dog having a bathroom issue. LOL. Thank you. I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. Terry or Tracy. It is a free pattern. And Lisa, going to copy your elephant pattern is so dang adorable. Um, Terry to June. It's better. I just take one for the team. <laughs> LOL, Gisela or Lisa. And Gisela, Sandra, just learned how to fold and sew, have done maybe five quilts. Wow. Yeah, see, I didn't, on the bare, my bare one that I did, means I had little quarter inch pieces. There's no way I could sew, fold all those little papers. Kathy has my very first foundation paper piecing in her friendship block. Mm. And then my second one, which I made, the kid is turning seven this year. So seven years ago, I made the bear. And I'm not kidding. That bear's nose, the tip of the black bear's nose was a quarter inch, almost little tiny hexy that I ended up having to put in there. That small of a piece. Oh. What size was the hexies that Brandy was doing today? Two inch. Two. Yep. I, I'm. Uh, is her next one, and one inch was her. She says it was one inch on the one that looked bigger than one inch, but I can't say because it's like we can't uh, figure out. It, it's okay, Terry. She said so sorry. It happens to me all the time. It's all right. No worries. I'll just kiss me. Um, Patty said, "Damn, chat's going quick." <laughs> Patty said, I made more than two New York Beauty, Northern Star, multiple practice blocks, butterflies, Courtney's patterns, elephant, lion, et cetera. Wow, you've been busy, Patty. And Terry, hi, Gisela. I think I didn't say hi yet. Tracy, I put two patterns in my shopping cart, and now I can't find the cart to check out. <gasps> oh, no. Terry, Lisa says to Terry, and then Diane, wow, Gisela, I'm impressed. And Gisela, so Terry, no problem. Sandra, I would have just used a marker. Um, I think it's up at the top on the right-hand side, Tracy. Gisela, Diane, thank you. And Terry, I also made a head ruler or a hexi ruler this weekend. Wow. Vicki, is the earpiece letter D? No. Tracy, there is it. a number. There are the add-ons. They are um, totally not on the pattern, Vicki. On the <laughs> last posting that I put on last night, I think it was. I can't remember. It was yeah, like yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Um, Gisela said, Tracy, no chatting while shopping. <laughs> Terry, I guess I did more than I thought I did this weekend. Lisa, now June, you know me better than that. She's all laughing. Yeah. But that's the trouble with posting these links it gets us off over into trouble land because they have but tracy said that pattern was a free one out there so i might have to go look eleanor has a lot of free patterns a lot because they're offered from free by the company and so all these people that use them can post them But I want the other one that Tracy was talking about. Well, now I got to go look. Dang it, Tracy. Got to go back up and get the exact name. Purple, Purple Mountain, Mountain Majesties. Okay. He had to do it. So don't forget thumbs up, everybody. Please.
surely. I use freezer paper to foundation paper piece. As with sewing all blocks, there are tricks to having them come out accurate. You just need to know the tricks. Does it mess up your iron? Surely. It put a, a, a light build up on mine. Yeah, that's what. Well, you don't want to put too many. There's a lot of choices for Purple Mountain Majesty. You want to do the one that's free. Well, I haven't found one that says st stick out free. It's. Mm. Vicky, I'm on. Lisa, be right back. Please don't start. We won't, Vicky. We won't. Uh, Shirley, now that's, that's one. Very of the pretty. Tricks. It's like I I can share the link because I have it up here. Gisela did one too. Okay. Purple mountains or I don't know. I'm not closing my link. It's like I'll go back to Facebook. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Gisela and Tracy. I'm going to go look. Yeah, they both did Quilt in the Day free pattern. Yeah, it's like, this what I okay, need. Yeah, go back and look at all her free patterns. I need to do it again to see if she put any recent ones. Yeah, they're by uh, pattern is supplement to Magic Mountain Quilts by Quilt in the Day. It's by Patricia Con Cochiel. Something like that. I'm not good at pronouncing names that sound. I've I've seen that pattern and they did it all in greens and then they put different things on there. Um Patty, I love it when my daughter sends me a text by mistake. She got some Lucy, you got some spraining to do. <laughs> I love Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Is anybody getting text messages from that's all in Chinese, Japanese, something? Mm -mm. I started getting them this weekend. Mm -mm. I have not. I've got a, number three now. Okay, Shirley. Don't press on the shiny side. It is plastic coated. I use a Teflon pressing sheet or a Teflon baking sheet. Mm, okay. Um, Tracy, I got this pattern. Isn't that pretty? Beverly says hi to everybody. I'm sorry that I sent you guys over there. If you're spending too much money, don't blame me. I only sent you to one page. Let me see. Oh, that kind of reminds me of our uh, rose. I have the giant dahlia that I still have to get put on material. Okay, Tracy. I love it. Giant. Okay, there's the cow by um, Finn Fox. Or, I mean, the wolf, the elephant, the peacock. They're not free, though. The unicorn. Yeah. Yes, I could go crazy over here. The unicorn is mine. I want to see the unicorn. Each unicorn. one of my computers, you should see their save folders. Dave, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> what? It's like, they're just the mandala quilt pattern. And Gisela, please thumbs up. Thank you, Gisela. And Pamela says pieces are cut out. So Pamela, you get to start doing your next page. I always start with all the drawing of the lines because Pamela gets to go to page after the cutting instructions. There's 
four pieces. Actually, there's five pieces that need to, their angles. And it is pieces I have to have their half drawn corner to corner. Mm -hmm. Piece B, which is one of the elephant colors. Has to be. And then what well, we're going is the pattern reads. And then A, which is the background color. There's two of them that have to be drawn out with a diagonal. We're also teaching how to read the patterns. Okay, um, Terry, Sandra, what did you send her? And I will blame you, LOL. Yeah. Uh, Lori, has anybody been to the Pay It Forward site? LL recommended. Oh, my God. Two yes, two. I went I over there. Kendra That's bad. Coming. That is bad. She's up there on a tab, too. That, that is bad. <laughs> it's like, I don't need more things in my head. Hey. Okay. Laura, Laura Lynn, when she did the pattern, I wanted to see what the turtle looked That's like. Yelling. But I don't like yo-yos. Like I still don't like yo-yos. Well, I thought you might have forgotten. Because you walk right Dave, by. Dave forget? Never. Yes, he, he forgets a lot. Forget. Oh. No, that's just part of the male gene. Okay, Terry to Laura, yes, I follow her. Such cute things. Adams so makes her pattern. Okay. Diane, thinking of you often, my friend, to just sell us. All right, let me continue. So on. if I slide this back. And it's like, we're waiting for Kathy. But we I know. Can well, go, go ahead. I have continue. two. I can, I, that's why I have two. Because I started... Like the class is always advancing. Draw your corner to corner pieces. Which I give you the letters I, A, and one of, I think it's B. Yeah. And the B, because mine's so dark, I had to use my white color pencil. So all the Hascar triangle pieces can now be sewed to their components that they need to be sewed to. But we got to all remember the ear pieces are not. Gisela says, I don't like yo-yos either. It took Laura Lynn a long time to do them. And so Terry says, Pay it forward, elephant. Yes, that elephant was really cute. If they would have, if I would have found that site five years ago almost, you know, four plus, I probably would have made stuffed animals out of, but my grandkids were all older. So it's like out of my husband's shirts and stuff. Now I wished I would have saved that one shirt. I might be able to get it back from the, the gentleman mm, that has you it. You didn't know. Yes. Mm. But it's like, he still has it, so I could get it back from him, but it's super thin. So it would all have to be interfacing on it. And I'm not a big fan of putting interfacing on things to make the fabric thicker. It's just one of them things. Can I have the heater back on, please? Um. Okay, what piece are you cutting now, Kathy? I'm finishing the um, long one that I just did, the one quarter by ten and a half. Okay. Because I had to that, eat. 
That's the one piece that's not in the pattern. Did Pamela write that down? I wrote she, it down on top. Okay. Pamela's going to be watching now. She won't be able to chat because she's moving over to the sewing machine. So she'll be on key. We're going to be on big screen. Oh, fun. Jeez. I always wanted to be on the, the limelight of the big screen. <coughs> like kidding yeah. <coughs> I cough one more time I'm gonna have to run to the little girl's room for sure uh -huh. uh, Tracy says fur babies we'll be right back okay okay and Tracy Shirley's saying thank you to Lisa So Terry says you have another baby on the way. Yeah, I'm going to have two more elephants. Now. Oh, yes, a baby on the way. Uh, August, September. <laughs> it's like, we don't know what the, the sex of the baby is yet. We're still waiting. Kind of early, isn't it? Oh, heck, it's amazing what they can find out. And if you want to pay for the blood work or whatever that is, they can find out even earlier. I don't know. I didn't have any of these fancy things. And, you know, I, I had kids in what I call the Stone Ages. Yeah, exactly. But Melinda didn't have ultrasounds in that either. Ronnie had because she was um and these little pieces that are left from cutting this flying goose geese unit they are trash they are not going in my scrap bag for another project down the road no way no no and no I have enough projects as it is if you want to save them save them it's like, it's totally up to you. I'm checking to see if they say which way to press. Trim the seam allowance and press. That's all it says. And press. Okay. I pressed. Do I want to press to the dark side or do I want to press to the light side? I am not pressing open. If you want to press open, you are welcome to press open. Vicki Lemire's talking about. Okay, go up one more. So, Terry, any thoughts on making simply woven pattern? I have my pieces just about all cut out. I have my strips. I don't have the white yet. I'm still deciding on what I want to use as my white. But mine's all going to be in fatigues. And then we go down to Vicki Lemire says, my fur baby which Zoe gets diapers on at night. She's not happy. They had to duct tape them on her. <laughs> she kept getting out of them. And Lisa saying hi to Shirley. Lisa saying hi to Vicky. I didn't know you were there. So Terry, use the color and patterns you like, says Gisela. The, the simply woven one for a baby gift. That's what I'm thinking. But if it's my daughter-in-law wants me to do elephants on the baby quilt. So it'd be nice to know if I should keep with the petite jungly theme or should I go out to the 50s theme. Or just go for it and don't worry about what boy or girl. Make it neutral. Neutral. Well, to me, 
of the petite elephants, which would be awesome. I have it several colors. And if nothing else, I have the first two made. Is this going to be Alani's cousin? I mean, brother or sister? Yes. I just can't use that pink and purple one over there because those are Alani's. Um, Gisela says, to Terry, use the color and patterns you like. And Lisa, hey, Vicki, I didn't know you were here. Terry, San go, Sandra, LOL. I may use that pattern for a baby quilt. And thank you, Gisela. Do you plan on making that as well? And said Terry, and she says, three friends, babes are on the way. One is a girl, don't know what the other two are. Ooh, Terry. And Gisela, yeah, someday, not sewing at all night no but i will i don't feel at night either once i'm done here i'm done for the day okay now um vicky robles is joining the group yes i did late but not forgotten right <laughs> i don't know let me let me let me think on that one okay <laughs> I, I made a very long Friendship braid table runner yesterday. Did you put purple in it? No, I didn't. I did the love note fat yeah. quarter bundle. Yep, I got well, it. If you and made purple in it, I was going to say, you know my address. <laughs> I will okay. give it. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> okay. I will remember that. It's blue, white, and some purple. Is that okay? It's like. Uh because um, they didn't like the purple in the other one remember i remember i know i remember very well i think oh my yeah. god a picky considering she's not doing all the work <laughs> yeah. gisella, gisella says sandra do you love boutiques i i have i have a king size quilt out of them i've made a twin extra long and wide for austin out of them I love this mosaic quilt, the mosaic tile. I love the feel of the batiks. It's like we get a good quality fabric. It's what my opinion is. I think batiks, that's with everything. Because batiks have such a high quality thread count. Yeah. It's like buying designer sheets, but you can smell the wax or whatever's on it when you press them and some of them just drive my allergies insane but i uh, suffer through is jenna here? okay thank you yeah where is your beautiful daughter at i don't know i haven't seen her this morning she hasn't made a comment from my comment yet. Uh, oh, she hasn't? No, I made a comment on her YouTube. She is a very beautiful young lady. Oh my gosh, Sandra, thank you for saying that. She looks I'm gonna like her show you. I know. I'm gonna show you parts of she um one third. She doesn't she doesn't think she the is third. Well, she's got two colors. Oh, that is pretty. Isn't wow. it pretty? Why can't I see Vicky? I don't okay. know. Do it again. Just I fine. cannot see you, Vicky. Can you see me now? Nope. Can you see the table see, runner? I, see, I had the problem the other day. No, and it's now you're totally black. That's what mine did the other day. And I even sent the picture of it to Vicki Lemire, and she says, no, I can see Vicki fine. Can, anybody, can you guys see Vicki in the, in the chat? It's like, I can see. Everybody's saying very pretty, Vicki. Thank you very much. much. This is the center block. <laughs> and we're getting... Batiste. And these, these Vicky. are... The 
wait, 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 Vicky. What? Go out and come back in like Sandra did. No, I. My, oh, there we go. I got you. I got you. No, my I got computer you. had She's to here. change it, Kathy. It's not to do with her. Okay. Well, no, it's okay. She's here. Okay, but uh, we have boutique addicts. So wait a minute. Yes, I can see us. Okay, they're all saying they could. Um. Yeah. Okay. Do you um go ahead and show what you were going to show, Vicky? I'm sorry. Oh. Well, here we go again. Yeah, I can do it in, in spots because it's about 50 something inches long. <laughs> this is the center. This is what I based everything off of. Can you see it, Kathy? Yeah, in a minute, it'll come up. Okay. It's really slow for me. I'll let the blood drain from my arms. <laughs> Good idea. But, but only for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, very pretty, Vicky. That's pretty, Vicky. Vicky, very pretty. Looks great. Very pretty. Uh, yes, I can see it. It's yes, white. It's not even white. It's a creamy color for these little blocks that have the same color in these blocks. Particular block. Okay. And their hearts. <laughs> Uh, Lisa, what that makes five critique addict addicts. Oh, I don't like critique, Lisa. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I'm not hip on critiques. I love critiques. I love all fabric. <laughs> Have you noticed, ladies? <laughs> I've noticed. Oh, I got your strips, Vicky. Thank you. You did? Yep. They're not strips. They're yardage. I got your yardage, Vicky. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that got up there fast, didn't it? I know. We're waiting forever for the other thing, and then we get this right away. You know, go figure. Yeah. Well, Christmas, you know, Christmas. Yeah. I yes, love I that deep, deep, deep dark black. That's yes. going to go really good against your colors. I showed everybody in chat. Oh, so 2244. Yeah, it's about 52 inches long, and she only wants it 42. Well, you know what? It'll hang over a little bit. So, what? That's the way I look at it. But you know what? This will go on my table. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and I have all this stuff all cut up for another one, so I just won't put as many on. Now I see it. I love it. You do. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Night, Gisela. It is beautiful. Night, Gisela. Thanks for coming, hon. See you tomorrow. Sandra, can you answer the question I had earlier about using the two pinks for the ear? Says Vicki McFarland. Is Sandra muted? No. no. I, I wrote it down because it's like you can use whatever color you want. And except I spelled want backwards. Want, want, want. W A T H. The new spelling. W A H T. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, spell weird. check didn't catch it. It's like, okay. I know. Maybe there's a word out there called what? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a different kind of what. <laughs> yes. The what. Uh, and Sometimes, Vicki, the chat goes by so fast, I do not see it. Because about the time we was talking about fatigues, we're down to very pretty, very pretty, very pretty, very pretty. And that, my chat window <laughs> exactly. disappeared. Sandra is 100% correct on that one. It just, woo, right by. Zoom. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. June says, everyone says it's not working today. Spell check, is it? Uh, yeah, it's not working for me. Uh, Vicki McFarland, does the ear have a back and front? That's the reason for my question. You can use the same color or you can use two different colors, whichever color you want on top. The other is under, the underneath of the ear, so it wouldn't matter. And because of mine being on such a dark batik, I did show on a uh, light color on the sewing because you have you have to square off two of the corners of the ear, and then you sew from that one corner down, cut off the other corner because you. You leave the, the whole top open except for that one little edge that you sew because you got to turn it right side out. And that will be sewed up in the seam anyway. Okay. Does that help you, Vicki? Because you, you don't have to have, if you run out of material and you only have one three and a half inch square of the fabric you want for the top of the ear to be seen, you can use another color underneath. I just happen to have enough to cut out two elephants and still have some leftover out of this batik that I'm using. Okay, I'm going to take you guys for a walk and we're going to have a vote. <laughs> yeah. Okay, June Hansen said it, on other channels, they said spell check wasn't working. That was at 6.15 this morning, her time. <laughs> Terry, my spell check is check. <laughs> it's like, oh, she I've got, on. I've got three different backings. Okay. This one I think is too dark. This one has possibilities. Let's see here. Yeah, right there. Oh, now right you're there. where my oh, finger there. is. There, stop right there. Okay. And then this one looks really good. I like your dark one, but that's me. I like dark against light too, and I'm kind of prone to that. But I don't think that dark color is really in anything. Where this striped one. Hello, Laura. Yeah, Hello, Laura. Is, is this color? See, are you going to put binding on it or are you going to do just the flip it? I don't know. I think binding. My granddaughters are requesting a different color on the back so they can use it two different seasons and not look like they're the same thing. And that's what I'm going to do with my sisters. Yeah. And I want to try that quilt as you go. Has anybody done that? I do quilt as you go quite I've often. Done it. I've made one before, yes. Did it turn I out well? It. Yes. I like it. I like quilt as you go. Yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't do it on this first one because I was doing a little bit of ripping because I'm really particular about the way the, the blocks go and all of that. But as I went along, man, I was speeding along. I, I figured out a rhythm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. Answer to Vicki McFarland's question. She says, you can explain another time going too fast. Kathy, when we come up to the ear, did you print out the, or copy the page that was on the picture, Vicki? But I don't know if you can see it. To sew this, like this is the top of the ear. There's a one and a quarter line. You just put it, take your ruler where one and a quarter is on each side, draw your line. Well, 
and then down here. When you sew, you start a little bit over, do that diagonal down here, diagonally around, over across the bottom, back up, because you want the whole top to be open to flip the ear right side out. And see, I can't see. Otherwise, you'll have to take your elephant to the elephant doctor. But I drew it. I made sure to have a light color to draw on. So it explains it because that you're never going to see anything I draw on this dark stuff. Okay. But it's like if you only have. Oh, that must be the ear to this elephant. I was going to put two ears on this elephant. Okay. It's like, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> on my tablet where I can see the chat, if I have down so I can answer the chat, I only get to see Vicky Robles. I have, to well, darn. I have to scroll up to see what I'm doing. <laughs> In other words, I cannot answer the chat. What's wrong with Vicky? Nothing. She said all she can do is see me. <laughs> yeah, I get to just see Vicky. Because, Happy days. <laughs> because these chats, I'm not going to open up another device. I don't, I don't need you. three, four computers going. I don't blame you. But sometimes I do that so that I can see the chat, but I'm not today. And then Lisa says, I'll be going in and out for a while. Jack's demanding my attention. Oh, no. Not they, Jack. They... And Laura saying, hello, June, because we're all acknowledging. <laughs> that Laura's here. She came in and she went out so fast. Yes, hello, Laura. We'll try not getting you laughing today so your coworkers don't have to. But, hey, it wouldn't be our channel if we didn't laugh. But we were so late. There's such a day, January 24th was belly laughing day. <laughs> what? Do you ever not laugh that. so hard that you end up peeing your pants? <laughs> I was like that the other day. I was laughing so hard. I didn't yeah. pee my pants, but my stomach hurt. <laughs> oh, oh man. Kathy almost spit her water across the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was all choking on it. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> we survived. <laughs> All I can say is good times, huh? Yeah. Oh, I went to go get something and I didn't get it. It's like, I'm looking for my lost pieces. Oh, they're under the sewing needle. No wonder I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes, right? I know. And then so Terry says, Lisa, Jack Daniels? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get my sweatshirt. I was trying to do this without putting a sweatshirt on. I can't. I'm shivering. It's not working. Right. So today I'll grab my purple one to go with the purple theme in my room here. It's 49 outside and 67 in my room. It is 45 here and raining. And my grandson figured out these hooded sweatshirts have these strings on them. And now he loves pulling these dang strings. Uh, <laughs> lucky you. It's like, Coda, quit. <laughs> and he'd get to laughing as he's hanging on the floor pulling don't you love to hear them laugh yes those belly laughs oh how i miss that 
I know, me too. They can laugh over the dumbest things. I know. <laughs> Oh, Laura's freezing too. It's 69 degrees in Florida. Whoa, she's not used to that. Jim's outside blowing leaves and he said it was 60 degrees outside. I have a whole bunch of bowl hills to deal with. They built their houses under the snow even. They were bringing up dirt. Moles? Little moles or bowls, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we have traps for those. Oh, I need them. They're, they got a condominium underneath either my sidewalk yeah. or the driveway. They multiply like bunnies. Do they? Yeah. But I did not think that they would be digging up dirt in the middle of the winter. <laughs> when the snow melted, I have all these hills out here now. Yeah, well, well had before hire a realtor and see what you can get for them yeah <laughs> so those little voles are going to get something this summer and june hansen's uh you're fine carry on the caps no problem june hansen i went to my son's birthday party on saturday night it started at 6 p.m and i left at 8 he was feeling pretty good, and I don't know how long it lasted, but I bet he didn't drive home. Oh, he <laughs> you hope he didn't. Yeah, you hope he didn't drive home. That's how my kids' birthday parties and different things get going, and it's like, where did you guys learn to drink? It's sure not from your parents. People to hang out with. Because it's like uh, office parties. Well, they don't have office. It's just them in general. Well. But it's like, and I always tell them, uh, June says it's 45 out here today. Okay. The wind, we have terrible wind because I can see all 13 stripes on that flag across the street. Oh, wow. And there goes somebody else's garbage down the street. It's stuffing out of something. <laughs> stuffing out of something? Yeah, it's a piece of polyfill rolling down the street. So it looks like a giant snowball. It's about six, eight inches in diameter. Well, maybe somebody's sending something to you. <laughs> Airmail <laughs> without paying for it. <laughs> We've got uh, swimming pools, beach balls, basketballs, volleyballs. I try to put them where they stay in my right outside my fence so it doesn't look like I'm stealing them. And no one <laughs> ever comes and picks up. Uh, Lisa says, practice, Sandra, lots of practice. And June Hansen says, friends, because he didn't drink either. He's got it from his granddad. It's like, yeah, I always ask my kids, I says, who in the heck taught you guys how to drink? And it's like, they go, can't blame it on you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Had alcoholic beverage since 1980. Oh. I am not the contributor. And then it was only maybe three times a year we'd have a party that I drank a drink. I've been to lots of parties, they keep handing me beers. Oh, that one's gone. I better give you another one. It's because it's in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be ready for my next party. <laughs> and then they'd bring me over another one. It's like, I'm going to have to get a bigger purse. 
But I says, we won't have to buy beer. So then when they come over to our house, I don't worry about alcohol because I can hand them a beer. There's back. <laughs> That's called recycling. Yes. <laughs> Yes, but as you're walking out to the car from the party, you hear clank, clank, clank. <laughs> <laughs> Lori Clark, I'm turning 60 in November. There will be drinking. Okay. You go I'll be it, there. Lori. I'll be there. <laughs> I will drink Diet Pepsi on that day in honor of you, Lori. That's it. Lori, I'll even make an appetizer up. It's good to see you feeling so much better, Vicki. Oh, thanks. It's, you know what? It's good to feel so much better. You don't know how miserable I've been for these years. Oh, I do. Ooh. I do. I would just cry. Cry, cry, cry. All the time, cry. It was very depressing being so sick. One and a quarter, just anywhere. Doesn't matter where. I think Doesn't matter what size you really make your ear. Because no elephant's ears are probably alike. Probably, huh? That's the excuse. June Hansen says they have these new fruit flavored spritzers. They are good. I tried one, but I didn't dare drink it all. And Lori Clark says, party planning already. And Beverly says, Laurie, sounds like a really good time. Yeah, they have frozen fruity drinks, too. My kids tried getting me to drink one of them, too. And I says, I'm not old enough. Uh, some of them have alcohol in them, and some of them don't. Right. And I won't. It's like, I just drink my Diet Pepsi, Diet Dr. Pepper, my peach tea. I just stick to the same old, same old. I like peach tea, too. I don't know very many people who like that. That's my favorite. And if you can find... <laughs> Lori, Lori says I might get my quilt done by then. <laughs> <laughs> How are positive it's thinking there? Double celebration. Yeah. You're, you're going to have it done before my birthday. You have till June. <laughs> Okay. I thought I cut these down. I'm just sewing some examples ahead. My thumb is bigger than some of these pieces. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Don't don't cut no fingers. No. Like hmm. I can't set goals when the quilt will be completed. I have different goals for the tops, like this one up here that's on my design wall. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if piano keys would look good as the border. Because it's I, such think, a, I think so. Because it's such a scrappy. Put a two inch white around the whole thing. And then uh, all the other colors, scrappy, including the white in the piano keys. 
And June says, I haven't. Uh, Lori says, I might get it done by then. And June Hansen says, I haven't tried peach tea. I just ran out. So I've been without peach tea now for a week. I, I like cinnamon tea. spice. I drink and a I lot. Haven't, haven't been out to go buy anything because I just can live without it. Oh, how do you even do that? <laughs> yeah, it's like I want to stay in my warm house. Can't blame you there, Sandra. I have become such a homebound person. I, I love to, being homebound. I love going out doing my yard work and stuff, but I peaked and there's nothing that needs cleaned up right now except for the iris. Okay, June, do you think that's a... Okay, you can no, turn, turn that off for now. Use the piano yeah. key. That's take and vote on that one. Turn what off? The here. That, that quilt in the background. Can I have some hot chocolate? More of it. What? Hot chocolate? No. Nope. Yeah. Because there's so many different blocks <clears throat> in that thing. I'm thinking the piano keys. In other words, I'm going to have to find a solid. Ooh, wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, Beverly says it would look good. June says it would look good. And Kathy says it would look good. Piano keys are piano. <clears throat> yeah, what's wrong with my throat? Piano keys are fun to make. Yeah, but there are quilts. Like, you cannot put a piano key around that mosaic tile. It would not no. look. Right. No. There are certain ones. You're right. You're right there. But yep. a border on that would be taking some scraps if you got more batiks of the same line like I do and put black, zigzag it all through it. That would make a beautiful border. Yes. Because it would be continuing the theme. But I'm just going to end mine with a black, a whiter black stripe strip. <laughs> Because when I started this quilt in 2018, I didn't think about buying extra of anything for the border. And the odds of it still being available are slim to none. <clears throat> I'm not even sure if they'd have the turquoise grunge anymore. Oh, I love that color of grunge. My grunge that's in there is left over from making my granddaughter's senior quilt. Yes, Beverly says, not on the mosaic. It's too busy. But sometimes these are busy, but this is an old-fashioned themed <laughs> quilt type. because all, all the quilters are <laughs> So it's going to be folded up and hid for a while, but I'm going to put two inch strips around it with two inch uh, hourglass blocks that are left over from one of the blocks uh -huh. uh, where, where they had the leftover pieces. So I sewed them together and made two inch and they'll be up in the corner and then it'll start the piano keys. What a cool way to make the chisel. Yep. But that quilt's been just fun trying to figure out what to do with it anyway. Because right now, this part doesn't fit on my machine, but I can move it back and forth because this is going to be all roller work or free motion. So I can move it on my smaller machine. You can come to my house and quilt some of my quilts and I'll let you quilt as many as you want on my machine. <laughs> what a deal. Yeah. I and might then, even let you do a little shopping. <laughs> and then the piano keys that are on the outside with that two inch border, 
they'll be quilted separately and then added back on as quilts as you go. Mm. So that way I can go on that two inch border, the same thing on this side as I do up there, mm -hmm. top and bottom. You always have to plan when you have a small long arm, you have to plan in advance. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. So what piece are you on now? Miss I'm, I'm working on that elephant. I mean, still on the background pieces? No, working on the elephant. Okay. On the one quilt for Vicky, one quilt for you, says Lori Clark. <laughs> <laughs> he has to just pack up my quilt tops. I could go down to Florida, use a long arm down there, and then stop by Vicky's on my way back by on her long arm. Mine isn't an automatic though. Mine's not an automatic either. Mine's Sandra Power. You can teach me how to use it because I didn't go for the lessons. My husband did because I was sick with um, shingles really bad all over my oh. body. Good. And so he went down for all the lessons. And then he came home and he quilted a solid well it had a pattern on it but a solid piece of fabric on it and he's a natural and now he won't do it there are a lot of men that long arm quilt do the long arming you know i knew he'd be a natural when we went to the paducah quilt festival because he was where you know they had him write his name and do different things with it you know and he did a great job, and I knew he'd be a natural at it. There's it's one. Gen there's a gentleman down in Oregon at one of the shops. He has a disorder that is making him. He he doesn't remember how to talk. He doesn't remember how to that when it's time to eat or anything else. But he can quilt. Wow. That is his only memory. He can't talk to you. Uh, Pamela, the ears are three and a half inches square, two of them. But he's, you can go in and you can watch him. It doesn't bother him. And he, but wow. he can't speak back to you. He mm -hmm. can under, he can hear you, but he can't speak back to you. And he will wow. try to point what he's doing to you. But has he had any kind of brain surgery? They you know. Whatever is irreparable, and they don't know how long or anything else for him quilting. But he was pre motion quilting three quilts a day. Wow. He would stand there. They would have to take him in and sit him down to feed him lunch because he'd forget that he had to eat. Wow. And so. It was just amazing. Every time I'd go down there, I'd go watch him so naturally do it. He didn't do the fancy busy quilts, but he did the free motion on his own. He could do ruler work. It was just amazing. I was just going to ask you, do you do ruler work on your long arm? Uh, this one's going to be ruler work and free motion, unfortunately. Why do you say unfortunately? Because look at all the different ones I got a plan for. Yeah. It's like the sunbonnet too. It's just going to be a little meanders around her and outliner. She's the easiest one up there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the block next to her, probably just some outlines. Because I don't want to. Like, Do you have overall Sam there? No. Well, no. she's lonely. Like, I'll take this off the wall. I have to fold it up anyway. It's going to drive my brain crazy. Mm. Because I got to draw out each one of these on paper for my, like this one here. Can't. I thought about just putting a little bit in this pink, just a little, same shape, and same out here in the yellows. But everything else is just going to be barely outlined. 
and you could on it too. Meander. Oh, I, I taught. Oh, Meanders and then outline. This one bad. here, you can see some. Oh, and I can do it like this. Never mind. Never mind. Some people say they're orange peels or whatever. Those half moons are going to just fill that. Um, one's under here. But it's like it's just each block. And then while it's here, that spin. You can have a close-up mm. of it. This is called the spin, spinning spin block. Yeah, that's pretty. This is applique on. And then this coin rouge flower in the middle. It, it's got height to it. So all you can do is go around that. You can't do anything else to it. But it's still within the two and a half inches of quilting because a lot of batting, you have to make quilt someplace within two and a half inches. But I was thinking I could just quilt just the same shape, just put redefine it. Mm -hmm. And then I could do one and hate it and have to tear it out. Well, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, but it's fun trying. Yeah, you draw out what you want to do before you start. That's the worst part. Like here, two of the orange, pretend this is three blocks instead of a rectangle and a square. Right. So treat it as three squares on each one of the floating card trick. This one here is just, again, just do the little outline and be done. Because the They're block pretty. itself speaks for itself. I'm getting ready to make that block. This one? Yeah. This this gal didn't write down what this block was called, but the other one that's similar, you know, same fashion. This one here, the gal wrote what its name was, but I forget what it is. It's right behind me. <clears throat> But this and it one has any good to write what it is on the back because the back is going to be covered up. No, I have a book. Once the quilt's done, it's going to have the squares drawn out, and whose block I know who did what will be written in that book. How nice! And if not, I will ask the person what's the name of the block. But this was a quilt designer, this one with the spin, with the uh -huh. coin rouge. She is notorious for making coin rouge. Well, she took and cut this one down so it didn't stand at all because I asked for it to not stick out like a sore thumb. Uh -huh. Because the normal coin rouge flower, wherever it's at right here, are really, really keep that there. stand out. They really, really stand out in the way. So she did. She cut it down so it wasn't so bulky for, for me. Hello? No. Because no. that's, you know, I asked nicely. And that's what she said. I took a class up in. Uh, oh, I love Eleanor Burns, Jim. I saw a picture. Um, in fact, uh, this weekend, somebody posted in, in a picture of her with Eleanor that she had just saw, saw her a couple of days before. And I go, man, I miss Eleanor. And then she got back to me. She says, Eleanor is thinking about coming back. Oh, that'd said, be I hope she does. I would. I mean, everybody wants her to come back. I'll be in and out. Have to start this bag. Need to see the video. Patty, I got my fabric okay. from my fabric addiction. Very pleased with the hundred. Petite charm squares and the kaleidoscope layer cake. I will definitely be ordering more from her. And Diane says, Hi, Vicki. Hi, Diane. Not you, the other Vicki. Which, just... Vicki. which Vicki? You. It says, Well, we have two Vickies with an I only, but it's like, that's the way it goes. Isn't Vicki McFarlane with an I only? Yes. So, but we're. <laughs> We're, you're just Vicky, and the, the other one that we call her Vicky Mac, and then Vicky, 
I spell Vicky totally out, and I usually spell it out in capital. Oh, no. Ricky Lemire is Ricky. Okay. Ricky McFarland yeah, is Ricky Mac, and Ricky That's is Ricky e after I. Huh? Vicky Lemire has an E after her I. I yeah. know. That's why she's Ricky. Like, and, you know. I, I actually enunciate it's Vicky Lemire, Vic Guy Robles, and Vic, Vicky Mac. How come you guys have a Y at the end? It would make it so much easier. You know, V-I-C-K-Y. And Diane says, you, Jim's queen. Uh, Jim's queenie? <laughs> no, she just wrote Jim's queen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jim used to call me his queenie because um, the house that we built off of an old schoolhouse up in Iowa, I wanted a castle room. You know what a castle room is? Yes. Yeah, I wanted one of those built onto the house. And uh, and so he started calling me his queenie. <laughs> did you get one built on? Yeah. Cupula, uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's really cool. You can see five different towns on a clear day out of the windows up on top. Wow. Yeah. Uh, one of our businesses downtown have on the corner lot, of course, has one on the second floor. And mm -hmm. they have a Christmas tree that they light up in that window every year. Mm -hmm. Beautiful to look up there and see something lit up there. Bet. I have a, a small table with chairs and two mannequins with hats on them. <laughs> <laughs> How I felt like somebody's there. Yeah, and I love it because I fell in love with them when I saw all those places in old towns in Iowa. And when we would go up to Port Townsend, Washington, there were a lot of those homes that had those. And I've always wanted one. I was going to put a, a sewing machine up there and set it right in front of the window so I could look out. But now if I do that, I'm going to see tons and tons and tons of those. What are they called? JR, what did they build across the street from us? By me. S solar panels. Oh, Is yeah. It? You have and a solar plant? Tons of them in the, the farms. Yeah, acres and acres of all around us. Yeah. It looked like a corporation yard. Yeah. I should have sold our home and let them build that there yeah. and made a bunch of money. Sell it. Yeah. Sell it now. Let them find it. At, I wouldn't do have, that to my neighbor. We have a solar plant in the next little town from us. And you can sit up on the hill where you can look over the, because the town's kind of in a valley. You uh -huh. can sit there and watch them slowly move. They it's move up. On their own to go with the sun. Ugly. It's They're just so. Ugly. I didn't. I didn't move to the country so we could have solar panels all around us. But well, and I mean, it's acres do. of them. It's the thing okay. to do, Vicky. But it's it's out. We need it to keep the economy going. Is the bad thing. Well, and our our electric bill is a lot smaller. Now that they have those, you know, it costs us about 30 bucks a month. Yeah. Heck, that's, my that's the good thing about it. Just reading my meter costs almost that. <laughs> well, I years ago, I planted a bunch of, I think they're sycamore trees, um, across the front of our yard between two big oaks fire oak trees and um and they've grown so tall we can't even see them to look across the street but we can see them kitty corner from us yeah on on that acreage i don't know if I, I don't know if you've seen on on facebook they have these funny elevators that you can put in any house that there uh -huh. are glass that we go up and down through 
And I told my son, I want one of those. He goes, mom, you have a one story house. <laughs> I says, I'm just going to pop up out of the ceiling. You're just, I'm just going to have this little thing. I can go up and I can watch the softball games across the yard. <laughs> I said, I'm just expensive go softball game. <laughs> down, and then I'll come back down. <laughs> But you could build another up. level and have a whole sewing room up there. But he, but he goes, Mom, you're afraid of heights. I says, Well, maybe I can get over it. Are you afraid of heights? Oh, you should have seen me stepping on the step ladder to put the nail in to hang that design wall. Have you ever been up the Space Needle? Yes. That all glass elevator door about did me in. Going you, up, my back did, was quick. Did you eat in the restaurant up there? And yes, I lost my diet Pepsi up there. Oh. And I also went up to the 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 An observation deck. deck. Yeah. And the gift shop was closed, but I didn't go outside. And I couldn't get a souvenir. No one believes that I was up there. So I had to brave it another time. And then I printed, uh, they had a medallion thing that you could write whatever mm -hmm. you wanted on it. So I wrote, mm -hmm. I made it to the top and what day it was. Mm -hmm. And then I went out on the deck, took a picture through that floor. It about killed me, but I did it. Because it's got the open grate floor. Mm -hmm. That way moisture, everything goes right through it. Mm -hmm. But I need it. Yeah, Jim doesn't like heights. And he didn't want to go to the very edge. But I said, come on, Jim. I'll protect you. Come on. Oh, I made it out there, Jim. But I also went on the middle of the week when there's not a million tourists. Yeah. Don't go on a crowded day. Is well, don't go in the summer. <laughs> I heard, I heard that they remodeled it. So, yeah, the restaurant's not up top anymore. It's down, clear on the really? bottom. Oh, I wouldn't go to it then. Oh man, that was the fun going yeah. around while we're now, eating in the whole area. But you, it still moves. It's no, just no, down. no, no, no. You have to be twirling, going from the bottom and taking you up, and then coming back down while you're eating. No. That's what it's all about. Nah. Yeah. That's, that kind right, of Vicky? Yep. That's but how, I like it. I like it up there and just sitting and relaxing and slowly going around and looking at all the sites in Seattle and the lake. And yeah. There's a lot. Yep. I went up at night. It was very dark. And then the, someplace they got a what what's the the, the merry-go-round from a fair they have and then you you get food delivered to you you get your food and you go up on the ferris wheel somebody well, that asked, could be really good for somebody down below <laughs> but the the ferris wheel when you go on it starts going around and then they bring the food you ordered and it tells them which cart it is and then you go up and you just it goes real slow and you get to eat right. your dinner while it's going Let's in circles go yeah it's like now that'd be a different way of eating did you go to the yeah. world fair in 1963 yeah. or two no my grandpa did i was too little we went we went to the world's fair and i was wearing this new skirt that you and know status. the school that i was going to on thursdays you would wear this plaid skirt and Hi, Gladys. my parents bought it for me and so i had that on and then we went to my grandparents afterwards and my cousins their brothers we're getting in a big fight and I climbed this picket fence to stop them and I ruined that skirt. Yeah. Why would you wear a skirt, Vicki? To the fair. Because she went from school. Well, no, I would have I would brought a change of clothes. Yeah. Yeah, if it were me. 
Oh, but, pretty. I like that. But this is the shape of the ear. It has an angle here, angle here, and then just squared back there. And is that a petite? Yes. And this yes, is the raw is. edge that's going to be sewed up in, and so you don't have to worry about it. But that's turned inside out. Or right side out, I should say. Mm. And Vicki McFarland was saying that she did the same thing. Her son told her to slowly step out, look down. Yeah. But I took a picture from up there. But I proved I went back up. Have I been back up since? No. No. It costs fifteen dollars now to go up there. Isn't wow. that something? It's ridiculous. Yep. And yo, Patty, Vicky Lemire, will you and your granddaughter make a frog patch? You can use buttons for eyes. That is what I use. And Vicky Lemire, speaking of frog patch. You have the frog pattern should be in your mail Wednesday. The one that I have? My friend sent her hers. That was My nice of her. Her, her that was, pattern. That was very that. nice of her. Because she was, she went and copied it. It won't copy. It's wow. Too, it's too light of a pattern. It won't copy. It printed almost white paper. So if you want to copy it, you have to outline those lines yourself. It, they made it to where it won't copy, I guess, is what they decided. That makes sense. I think I can. I think I can oh, um, no, I just dragged my sleeve. Like a bottle of Wednesday. Mm. I'm cleaning some bottles up right now that I've kept because there's only certain kind of bottles I can put the caps on. Uh -huh. You know, the smaller bottles. Samuel Adams, the other ones, they can put caps on. They're matching bottles. Uh -huh. When you're a brewmaster, you can figure all the stuff out. Oh, I know. You're such a brewmaster. It's, like, it's just like you work here. Just There's no other talent like you. <laughs> Did you hear that? I hear yes. Jim. Yeah, uh, uh, he says, Walmart, he says he's a real it. brewmaster. I bought him for um, his birthday yeah. some yeah. brewing stuff. He has all the equipment that I bought him for Christmas one year. And um, he said that he wanted to start brewing again. And he brought a bunch of stuff down from Iowa so that he could do that. But he didn't have the ingredients. So I ordered that for him. And he oh. said he a real brewmaster. <laughs> Kathy, she's going to have two frog patch patterns because yo Patty sent her a copy also. <laughs> How did she get a copy if they can't yeah. copy? Because she had it and she said hers turned out great. My friend went to Kinko's and it wouldn't, all we got was white. She got very almost white paper. There you go, Vicki. You didn't have to worry about me. I was looking for it. Now I'll find it because Ricky's getting it. I'm getting the, the one we enlarged. But see, it worked the first time she went down because we enlarged the frog. We made it three, four feet. Because we made it into bean bags. So they could it, hop? It, it was the cutest little chair for uh, the little kids. That they could uh -huh. sit down and just mash the head of the frog in, and then they could sit in that bean bag. It was adorable. Mar Margaret made it into um, door stops for her door, like her yeah. studio doors that open like like that, one on each side. Yeah, the fabric patch has them all through the store in Efreda because little kids come in and need to ha keep busy, so they tell mm -hmm. them the, the frogs. So they go through. Is this a good size frog? Like the one that Donna Jordan made? 
It's the only, uh, it's the only frog pattern that we could find out there. It's good size. It's like 18 inches, but we enlarged it to be three or four feet. Wow. And we That's had a blast. Cool. We had a blast making it though. Okay. Here's the pieces sitting out unsewed for anybody that's at that part. Here's the ear sitting on there. These are all this the, the counterpart sewed. We could call it like uh, the half square triangle sewed on the end of the trunk where it cur curves. These two pieces are together. This piece to make the elephant's neck not be so square is on. Up here is the original, because this elephant has a very pointed head and I don't like the pointed head at all. And then here's the background sewed onto the behinder of the elephant and there's the two legs. So what I've added is this here, here's, here's my beagle, you guys, when he was a baby. Yeah. I miss him. His name is Alex. And then this piece gets sewed across the whole top. So you can figure out where to place your ear. That ear will be sewed in the whole thing. I like that elephant. You just don't see its tail. That's because there is no tail on this. Mine's added, mine's embroidery floss, braided. Oh, that's so cute. It's, there's the pink one's tail and there's the So are you guy. having a pink elephant sale? I have a pink elephant, a purple elephant. But I said, are you having a pink elephant sale? I think it's Here, a- Vicki, this is it. You have to talk. This is the frog. Can you see it? Yeah, now I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cute. I made it for Jen and I cannot find it. Oh, wow. So but she where, to... wherever it is, I think that's where the pattern is also. Um, this is the back. Because I have some awesome peaks to make a frog. Now, how did you... Here, here, here's holding it up. How did I what? See, I did the pink, the whatever you call that, you know, the, the feet, the shears. Yeah. How did you enlarge it? Went to Kinko's and said we wanted it this big, and he they printed it out on the paper. It printed fine then. And then when we went, she went back to get it printed out this time. Jen. But it's going to be showed another time or two still. Give me a second to finish my, my chocolate, okay? No. Then it's like, I put the curves in the back, but you could put the curves in this the bottom. Why the are you putting it there? You could put the curves in whatever part of the ear you want. I looked on the internet and the elephant ears was more pointed in the front. Yeah, I don't know where the pattern is. It really makes me mad because two by me and my, yep, that's what it is. It's, it's in a book. <clears throat> yeah, we had just a separate pattern. Yeah, me too. She bought it years ago and made several of them because, yeah, that's what a lot of people use them for is doorsteps. Doorstops, doorsteps. It's like, Vicki, I could send you a picture of all these parts, just the way, the way it's sitting here. Because that's what the internet's good for. Yep. I really like that elephant. I heard that when the trunk curves up, that 
that means good luck or something. Well, in, in your statues, they say you want of the curl, the curled trunk up. If it's under, they're eating. Yeah. But it's like, it's just one of those things. Sounds like a song to me. Okay, I'm going to like, take a peanut break and then come back and start sewing. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take a peanut break. No, no. Start sewing. It's like trying to get my camera up high enough. There, she gets a close-up personal picture. Let's see, what did I get today? Uh, if it's a big package, I got my pattern. Yep, my pattern came today. Pattern for what? Uh, the frog to make a bean bag. Oh. I thought it might be cute to have just around. <laughs> it, it, Tracy says, Sandra, you should make a bag or a pillow that says it's just one of those things. <laughs> well, it's better than my other scene, I used to always say. What's that? My, it's in Diane's name. Shit happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the grain, that's my only swear word I really use, unless you get me really PO'd. And I always, it started way back when my son, when the kids was in school, he wanted a t-shirt that says shit happens, because I say it all the time, because it came out popular. Well, yeah. you can wear poo-poo occurs. What the heck? Is that any better? Then it's like, so he wore a, a shit happens to school. They made him turn it inside out. Yeah. So he then we got uh, my husband a hat that says happens on the top of the hat. Uh -huh. And it had a pile of poo on the brim. <laughs> so he then tried wearing that to school and no hats are allowed but they ripped the poop off the brim of the hat when i went to school in high school um the guys had to wear their hair cut up above their ear yes and the girls had to have, if they were wearing a skirt or a dress, it had to be to a certain length by their knee. Ours was three inches above the knee was the maximum. Oh, we weren't allowed that when yeah. I went to school. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a little bit older than I am, but we got to go up to three inches above our knee. They said not three inches below the crotch, three inches <laughs> above the knee. <laughs> Hi, Maureen. But yeah, because that was mini skirts coming out when I was yeah. in high school. Yeah, they came in when um, I think I was a senior, but we still weren't allowed to wear those to school. And we did, we got to start wearing uh, slacks to school in 1969. I graduated. 68. So we got to finally wear slacks in 1969 because we had a bad winter here in the state of Washington. And there was people dying on the school buses because the school bus got stuck in the snow. And this one guy, he went out to save his kids because he yeah. wouldn't let them. They had everything arranged where everybody had a home to stay at here in town. 
-hmm. And he insisted that no way it was going to happen. So he drove to town, got his kids, and they got stuck in a snowbank going back. And two of his kids froze to death, and he lost several of his fingers. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, but if he would have just not have been so bullheaded and let the kids stay in town one night, they'd all be alive. But to hear that guy tell about the story of it is like, it was just heart wrenching. Yeah. But my elephant has three different batiks in it. This one and this elephant looks like he's all. He's got two batiks. His ears are the only thing that's different. I have got to order more batiks. I just have to <laughs> order more batiks because I don't have any of all of those pretty colors they make now. Yeah. I have a lot of green and blue. And, and, and uh, Everybody's saying hi to Marine because she came in. And Marine says, Sandra, those summer moon blocks you showed last night was amazing the amount you've completed i am nowhere near that they are they were beautiful and vicky mcfarland says hi so tracy so journey tracy i ha i added a little clip onto my youtube part in the back i showed all my summer moon blocks i've made just i was bored yesterday That's when I sewed up that table runner was yesterday. Why? Well, I, I did the like, cutting the day before. It's like, I come in here, I was doing different things, and it's like, I cut out these, still run out of time, still bored, and cleaned my whole house. The whole house? Yeah. And I moved a hope chest out of my, where the long arm is. It's at the foot of my bed. So I had to empty everything out of that. And to go through all the memories that are in there. Uh -huh. I, I found my apron that my grandma made years ago. It's on. Uh -huh. I should have left it out of the, out of the box. I should have taken a picture of it, but I didn't. Have you ever used it? I did when I was smaller. Oh. Uh -huh little kid that's what she made it for it was out oh. of some scraps and it's How like special and then there's pillowcases that they've been bored one grandma would embroider the picture on and another grandma would crochet the edge wow it's like the two grandmas my mom's mom would embroider and my dad's mom crocheted that so is this grandma's pillows. They it, they did that for years. They worked together on making the things. Wow. Laura Austin, Sandra, next time you get bored, call me. Oh, we we'd be on the phone all day. Our batteries would run dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think I called Vicky Robles three or Vicky Robles, Vicky Lemire's two three times she's probably getting tired of me but i don't think so it's like marine says memories are wonderful but sometimes not easy no the the sweater that my mom made my husband had all the cable knits down the front that he wanted this sweater it's in that hope chest. i don't need the heater right now and so, of course, it brought back memories. Yeah. Yeah. Called Jenna, sure. But I have. Well, she can move it down, Dave. It's all right. Don't plug it in. Don't plug it in. For some know. reason, I have what? a lot of purple oh. toys, purple pot holders, purple this, purple. I have a lot of purple for some reason. I wonder what the reason is. And I have two purple and white, purples and white. Uh, Afghans, one that I made myself and one my mom made me. And the one my mom made me has never been on a bed. It, it's never been, it's it's just for looks. I don't want anybody oh. to stretch it. I don't want to get it dirty. I'll be right back. Oh, Vicki, you're not? Okay. Thanks. 
It's just amazing all the. Oh, she was long arming all day Saturday. I didn't want to start one until I come back from, because this week is the week I go up to the grandkids to get the ice checked on Wednesday. And then I'll go go see a <clears throat> old friend. None would benefits either, Kathy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's his ex-wife. <laughs> she got the benefits. Oh, he it's said so she got the benefits and she got pregnant. Oh, I hate making these things. A call also. Yes, so so journey, Tracy. I do I made this myself. That that's very pretty. It's really big. It looks like a mile a minute. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if that's what it was called at the time. It looks like the mile a minute. I've made about mm -hmm. seven of them. Sold oh. them as fast as we made them. Wow. Yeah. The purple batiks that come out there in that this world, the purple, the turquoise, and what you can adapt the purple with, those batiks out there are awesome. Uh, Laura's asking, <clears throat> Vicki Lemire says, I like batiks. I just get to look at them. And Laura says, Sandra, has purple always been your favorite color? It has since they told me I can't have black and white. And so that was very young. So purple has been my color since black, probably. Who fiber. said you couldn't have black and white? That there was no color in black and white. There's no pigment. Oh. And tell me how often you can find black pajamas or this and that. It wasn't gothy back then. You know, we didn't everything uh -huh. had so I I was purple. I've always liked purple is my third choice. It's, I like it's, purple too. It's white and black make these quilts just pop. White and black makes the quilts pop because that white background and this one I just folded up is just outstanding. And then the black and the mosaic tile, it's the perfect color. Uh, okay, beautiful Vicky. It is very pretty, Vicky R. Uh, well, thank pretty, you. Pretty Vicky. It's and huge. Crazy. <laughs> I think they're pulling away stabilizer from the back of my heart mug rug. Not my favorite thing to do. No, I bet it's not. I have my mug rugs, the heart ones. Alani's is still up on the wall. I, 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 after she went home Sunday, I go, oh, she was at grandpa and grandma's, you know, my son's, and I could have taken her out her heart, but it's like she was already gone home by then. So I still have her heart. I have my own heart. And <laughs> I still have Coda and Aspen's, but they'll get them on the 15th, the day after. But I'm going to show them how they use them to sit their 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 sippy cup things on. Uh -huh. And that grandma loves them by grandma Gigi. <laughs> it's like they're still grandma G is what they call me because they, they, to say Gigi Ma after saying grandma, we're all confused. <laughs> they, it's like you're both grandmas. But later they'll understand when we're in the same room like we was the other day. When they say grandma, they get two answers. So if they want Gigi Ma, they got to remember to say Gigi Ma. But I'm working on potty training 101 when I go up there. Because he well, did. I would, good. I would add you around when I potty trained my children. Because <laughs> it's like. It was just amazing, you know, they're still in shock that he actually told me that he had to go potty because he has never told them he had to go potty. Wow. 
And so I was so thrilled to be the grandma that got to go the first pee pee on the potty. <laughs> And so Tracy says, I got the piping hot binding kit by Susan K. Cleveland. So I'm going to give it a try on this heart. Oh, okay. Piping hot binding kit. That's an intriguing whole title. I think that one bias, the one binding tool, the single layer might be uh, a good thing to have for like pot holders and that, but I like the double thickness. And Tracy says he feels safe with his grandma. And Tra Terry says, I'm back, too tired to start sewing this little bag. Maybe I will try a small project. Yeah. If there's a lot of components in it and it's what time of day, but you don't sleep, Terry, so you do your best sewing at night. Oh, Terry, I don't sleep much either. <laughs> yeah, we could have a, a Zoom party at midnight if Kathy. Oh, that away. would be fun. Kathy's the only one that sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> don't be jealous. <laughs> well, we kind of Not jealous, are. I'm envious. <laughs> it's like, Kathy's the only one that does sleep. I slept eight hours straight last night, never moved. Jeez, I didn't sleep at all. I, see, I seen one, the one o'clock hour, I seen 3 30, 3 5 30, 6 I go, wow, I can watch the news. It'll bore <laughs> me to death. <laughs> Did it work? Oh. I got a question. Are you bringing your sewing machine? I guess I have to pack a sewing machine with me. You don't if you come to my house. Are you bringing your sewing machine? I need all these headbands turned into bow clips like this. I can. I better pack my sewing machine to the back room. Well, I'm going to go take a potty break. Okay. A peanut break? <laughs> a potty, peanut break. I then... thought, when I got on here and Kathy was saying that, a peanut break, I thought she was actually getting peanuts. <laughs> no, it's our bladders are the size of peanuts. I get our it. My bladder. bladder. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm grabbing the sewing machine while I'm here and put it out in the middle of my kitchen. Okay, I have to decide. Um, See, we're, we were all gone. Oh, there she is. <laughs> There's Kathy. Yeah, I'm right here. I was just concentrating. I just saw the little tiny bit of your head and your arm. 
Yeah, I just whacked my finger on the iron, on the iron. That hurt. Okay. I don't know if you can see the whole shirt. B to D. Okay, here's B. And oops. Can you see this, Kathy? In a, in a second when it comes up. I'm looking. It's a t-shirt. Mm. Um, Terry says, I do some, but I try not to be active at night. Just watching something. If I do projects at, at night, I will never fall asleep. Laura, I, I have zero problem with sleep. And I'm so happy about that. You and me, Laura. Maureen, I oh. sleep pretty good, but there are a lot of trips to the bathroom. Good sauce... Of, Good source of exercise, yes. Um, these are cute FPP patterns. Trace says Terry put up. I'm happy for the sleepers. I wish, says Terry and Ricky McFarland. Love that shirt, Ricky. Still waiting. Thank you. I'm still waiting. Do you know why you have such a delay? No. In I don't either, because I don't know that much about this stuff. But I, I wish I, I wish I did. Um, Patty says to you, I recognize the crochet stitch on the blue and green that is on your chair back. Is it the virus crochet stitch pattern? I don't know. Hillier made that for me. It Terry is says so it's pretty. Etsy. Man, I still don't see it. I took it down now, but. A green shawl. It's blue and variegates from oh, blue, okay. blue and green, and then green. And that no, all break fabric up. That's pretty. I I'm love that. She's a beautiful crocheter. I'm talking about I, the t-shirt. Did you I see it? On no. Okay, I'll put it back up again. Beverly, Terry, those are some cute patterns. I need to try paper. Yep, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump in there and try it, Bev. You wanna try it with me? What's Bev gonna try? The um, F F paper piecing. Hi, yeah, Katie. She says gonna, hi, everyone. We're gonna do butterflies first to warm up to it. Um, she said hi, everyone. Home from. Pilots and lunch tired, yeah, I'll bet. June, oh, I, I, I know, but who that's he is the person has one. I'm really getting mad now because I don't see it. It's on right now online. It's not online. On the weather, when something the weather outside. Goodbye. Are you getting a whole bunch of stuff? Okay. It says, Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fabric this fabric is so, is delightful. so delightful. And it and um, something we have no place to go. Let and us since sew, we've sew, no place to go, let it let us sew, let us sew, let us sew. Um, Tracy says that would be adorable as a wall hanging. And Bev says hello, KD and Patty. Yep, it's the virus crochet shawl. I need to make me one. And Terry. If you watched on Zoom, you would see it faster than watch the chat on your phone or tablet. By the time your Zoom gets beamed to you, YouTube, it takes its time. Everybody, okay, I will try the butterfly. I hope it's easy. It is. It, it is a very, that's a very good beginner one. Okay. The frog pattern. Now I see it. The um, sewing machine and all that. Yeah. Mannequin, button. Uh-huh. 
Who and made it? Scissors, thimble. Who made that? Cushion, bobbin. It's pretty tape measure. Who made that? Isn't it, darling? I, it, nobody made I I ordered it. Oh. And I just yeah. saw it laying on our guest bed. <laughs> I like it. It's very, very pretty, Vicki. I think I might wear it tomorrow. <laughs> I got to see if I can back here far enough. There you go. Jim says, yes, she needs to find the virus shawl. I like it. I like it. It looks like it'd be too big for you, though, Vicki. This is a large. I'm pretty busty. <laughs> so, oh, okay. I used to buy extra larges because, you know, they also shrink. Hmm. Okay. I just love buying shirts that have to do with sewing. <laughs> And even in the winter time, I find I have to wear short sleeve shirts because I get so hot getting up and down and ironing. Okay, I got it. I'm getting no, I don't know about this. I got to read ahead. When, when you see the white thing on the wall behind me. Uh-huh. That is what we enlarged the frog pattern up to. And then we what? went out another three and in two inches all the way around it. That's half the frog that we made into the bean bag. Wow. <laughs> that but that, that'll excuse me. Did you did you already make the bean bag? Yes. Yep. The bean bag was made and the little the kid got it gifted to him, yes. Um, it's for her grandson. Is it on YouTube? No. Oh. But she did it in because they was doing a galaxy theme. Uh huh. So she got some fleece that was the stars and the moons, <laughs> and so the whole frog was made out of that with a blue belly. With a blue belly. You must have turned this on. What do you do to build it? What do you use? You, you go to Joanne Fabrics and you buy those little bean bag pellets. Yep. Poly pellets or something like that? Yeah. Yep. No, I don't know if they're poly, they're foam. Because yeah. I have poly pellets that are actually a plastic type pellet that I use in my dolls. So Terry's going to post a couple FPP pat that I made last year. I truly didn't know what I was doing. I don't know how they even came out at all. And yo, Patty, I copied the frog pattern on 11 by 17 paper. But we went to the photo place. And they print it. That's one big piece of paper. <laughs> that that is one big piece of paper. So I don't even know how what size that paper would be considered. It is huge, but we enlarged it a little bit more to make sure we had enough room. Well, Maureen bought herself a birthday present, Rowena Steam Pro. I was thinking about it for over Christmas. Well, if that's what you want, Maureen, you just buy it. Yep. That works. Yep. Even when my husband was allowed, we didn't buy each other birthday presents because we bought everything we wanted all year long. 
So how's the cutting going, Kathy? Cutting, I'm putting, I'm sewing it together. Okay. Okay. Are so you as far I'm... as I am right now? Where are you? I have just all the components together. He, um, he, he looks like an elephant, but he's just sitting there. All the different parts are in, all the half square triangles are sewed. The ear is sewed. The leg is, the legs are sewed on part D. But I have it in the subdivisions right now. Because I'm waiting to proceed with you. Okay, I'm on, um, I'm on A to, to K. A to K. Okay. So K would probably be the big piece. Yes, that's the biggest piece. Make sure to put it on the right direction, on the six and a half length. Um, I I picked mine up and just sewed the tail on that piece on once, and it's like wrong side. Well, I'm guessing five and a half is. I put the ruler away. Okay, let me see. Um, uh. So, Journey Tracy, where yeah. did you find the elephant pattern? The Got it going the right way. It was brought to us by... The credits are on, I think, the last page. Oh, it's like... Uh, milk and Honey Quilts. The original design is Milk and Honey Quilts. And the link that... So, Terry has posted out on Kathy's Facebook page, takes you to milk and honey. It's the ear afterthought that isn't there. It's a, there's just a simple picture up on Kathy's inviting everybody for the elephant today. Because basically we only needed the parts and the, the ear page that I added later. But milk and honey quilts. That was me and my husband. He would say, what do you want for your birthday? And then he would say, get what you want. <laughs> my husband says, don't you think you have enough? <laughs> well, I go, well, I'm a girl and we never have enough. <laughs> well, I never wanted anything because I had not everything. Even, not even fabric? Nope. Not even fabric. I'd rather spend my money on my grandkids. I don't have any grandkids. Well, I, I have six. I would rather take them out for an ice cream cone on my birthday than them than a party. I would too. If I had any. Yeah. We, we've been on pizza parties, ice cream parties. We just go to the park and have fun. Because I don't like cake unless it's angel food. Oh, I so, love angel food cake. I eat that for breakfast sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather go have an ice cream cone. Or we went up and got a pizza and breadsticks. We then we'd go down to the park, we'd eat and they'd play. Isn't it fun? And you know what? They will always, always remember that. And they do. But I mean as adults when they have their own children and yeah. stuff. Well, they tell me that still. Because Douglas does have kids. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Terry says, I buy whatever I want. If I can, the end. I am the boss of me. Yep. And it's like right now, where I have so many things to finish, I only buy what I need to finish something. So 
Kathy is currently sewing this little this this piece together. I'm currently having fun. Yeah. You are. This is her A and F. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. A and K. I got the wrong alphabet in there. Sorry. That's A and K. <laughs> it's all good. Which is page two of the instructions or step three. Okay, so it goes that way. Going by the instructions. That's the main thing. That's what they make them for. I, I sew by pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you have to sew different components together. And then these components have to be sewed together to make this section. So, so Terry, I got my sew yeah fabric for the baby quilt. I guess I better decide on a pattern. Jeez. Uh, if I make the elephant one, I'm just going to put a couple rows of elephants and then border it. That's if I make the elephant one. <clears throat> is uh, marine said terry what colors are you using marine says i have seven grandchildren and three grandchildren great grandchildren they are age 38 mm -hmm. down to five years old christmas is heavy on cash we quit exchanging Christmas, except for the little ones. The grandkids get nothing now, only the great grandkids. So Terry says, I think I need to get in the recliner and pretend to nap. I can't seem to push through today. I will beam you all onto the big screen. Oops. And okay, may not yeah. I will post them, Beverly, she says. And then, okay. And then she says, I understand, Maureen. No, my, you can't my, hold my, your eyeballs open. My grandkids get birthday, but not Christmas. They, they had a choice, which they wanted. And I was so glad when they picked birthdays because yeah. they're more scattered out. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta move you guys. I gotta move you. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hello, my little angel. My little angel. And then when we have the big family get together, like the, yeah. not this year, the year before, we had a, everybody drew a name and got a gift. And then they didn't like that. And, or we did that. And then we did the, just bring yeah. a gift and then just do that where you steal. Yeah. Impressive one. I like that game. <laughs> My daughter did not like that. Melinda. She says, it's not personal. Well, anybody that gets my name knows, doesn't know what to get me. What, so do, you think? Like, what do you do? What do you think? I say gift certificates to a quilt store. It's a, I have oh. Panda Express and uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. That's my gift cards I got. We have a Krispy Kreme donut shop in the town next to us, but all of their donuts are glazed. You can get other ones. You can? Yeah, if you go in. Yes, they have others. Well, but, my husband goes in and he said that's all they have. They have cake donuts with a variety of different frostings on them. Yeah, it might. Yeah, but that's what I mean. How do you mean that? You, there's some plain ones. There are. Like the the rose, the rose going. Pen Isn't that pretty? What's Pat? What's Kathy showing? Tell Patty she made, did a good job. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's here. She Yo, Patty's listening in the background. She's Patty, listening. this is very pretty. Yep, she made it. Everybody, when she showed up, like 
everybody started ordering it. So Laura's heading on uh, heading home. Okay, and Laura, don't forget to get in touch with us. Yep. I love this rose. Bye, Laura. Yeah. A rose oh, by any great. other name is just a rose. And it's like this is someone asked me what this rose is called. It's the patty rose. Yep. That's it. Patty purple. Mm-hmm. My and yours could be patty pink. There you go. Yep. Because at least our letters all rhyme. Pat True. P P. Mm -hmm. Uh Vicky mm -hmm. Lemire. Vicky got to get there early morning. And yo, Patty says, thank you, Jen. Jen, and she so said, Terry, thank you, Jen. So Terry says, on star, on the job, Laura Austin. On so star. <laughs> says, I don't know if you got my question above the elephant pattern. I got called she away. Thank you. Phone. What? What, 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 what? It's like, gotta mm -hmm. scroll back up. Oh what? Sorry, it's along with your alarm. You got man. Oh, it's like we on the pattern. No, I've been on one on pattern. Water. Milk and honey. But you're drinking milk juice and honey too, right? is part wait. of the pattern. You want milk? The Kool-Aid. Oh, I thought it was very yeah. at, at least we'll finish the water because you know we went to the store, so you're good to go. It's only like a quarter less of it left. Well, finish it. You'll get more. So I'm thinking, not this cell, get more liquids. Not that elephant. Wrong one. I have 12 windows open up here. It's okay. Jenny got mad at me too. Mm -hmm. Yelled at me also. Oh. Yep. But he always has plenty. Okay, this is um, okay. Uh -oh, the, the, um, images for elephant pattern from milk and honey. Oh, I asked him to come get my when I was done eating. And he walked by here and I thought he was oh, going no. in the room. He screamed at me. Well, can't do that. Don't look what screaming at. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Where'd the pattern go? It <laughs> it's like, well, I'm trying to find the actual the story yesterday. Yep. Oh, Saturday or whenever. Oh, we uh, Pinterest oh. thing pops up here. The only thing I can go do is copy this. Okay, so he is in a bad mood. It's not just me. No, he's in a bad mood. Well, at least he's getting out of his system today. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good, Jen. Oh, I tomorrow. Yeah. No, he needs to be in a bad mood tomorrow when you're stuck in that theater with him. Oh, what are you going to go see? Titanic. They, Titanic, they are. I'm not. Oh. already seen it on the big screen. And I've seen I've it, seen it a lot in the movie theater. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because every friend I had always wanted to go see Titanic, so I went with them. Well, Jen has forever been jealous of me for 25 years because I saw it on the big screen, 97, and right? And it's on my bucket list. And it was on her bucket list, so she finally gets to go see it. And Patty G, if you're listening, Maureen wants to know how to get in con to get a pin cushion and payment to you in case yeah, you're listening. Yeah, me too. You too, Vicky. Yep. Oh, Patty P had a question for Vicky Robles. Why? Oh, um, about <laughs> what? <laughs> because she's got yours done, but she wanted to know: Did you want one for your sister? Um. Sure. Patty G, if you're listening, and then it'd be a color, I guess. Um. How about black 
I don't know if you can do a couple shades of black. I don't know, but black. She was going to experiment with it. Okay, black and then gray and then a white center. And why? Because that's what my sister's kitchen is done in and that's what she likes. Because <laughs> okay. I... I a long time ago I said Patty G wouldn't a black rose be beautiful yeah and then we was yep she's a listening that's why I spoke to her because that, that way she's not reading chat it draws attention to her well she's listening because she just answered Jen yep yep she says I'm listening so I know she's listening yep but it, she, but people that are typing and then I forgot about she had a question for Vicki Robles. Oh, you know what? I'll order another one, too, because I should have one up here. In <laughs> okay, yo, Patty. And I should have one in, like, aqua and turquoise for downstairs. Then I don't have to go back and forth. <laughs> there you go. I figure... I'm going to forget mine's on my wrist sometime and I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to go look down and go, oh. <laughs> and they're going to say, where did you get that? Oh, I'm a sewist too. And I'd like to order some of those. Yeah, I'm thinking about a purple and a pink one or purple and turquoise. I don't know. Purple and something. Okay. So those are done. I can only stick purple pins in mine. <laughs> <laughs> how Just, long how long before you stop taking orders, Patty? Give me a chance to think. What what piece number step number are you on now, Kathy? I'm on five. Okay. Six. Sorry. Six. Okay. Oh, so I can start sewing some of my parts together. Hold on. Um, if that's what step six oh, is. The left side of the block together. Okay. Left side would be the. Where the half square triangle is. That's what they call the left side. Okay. I'm just sewing where the picture says to sew. Okay, what what number, what letter is it? It's uh, D with the half square triangle going up to, I can't write on my dark ones, uh, going up to G. It's D, G and D going up together, and it has B on the corner. So the corner of where the half square triangle is goes up in the upper corner. That's where you're going to be sewing across. That triangle is in the upper right hand corner. Okay. So, oh boy, am I ever lost here? Okay. Um, okay, Marie, I can do that. Okay. In these boxes that have nothing, okay, on, on page six, or I mean, yeah. number six, letter six, number six. Ugh. Yeah. The, the, what is what number or what letter is the first square on the, the top? That is G. Okay, and then the one next to it? D. Okay, and next to that? And then the one below it that's half and half. That's uh -huh. B and C. Uh, B, and B, 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 wait a minute. B being the bigger one or C? Okay. B is the small one. Okay. The light blue. And okay. then the white is C. Okay, hold on. I made a mistake. Precisely why I'm using the pencil. Okay, okay, next. And then on the fourth picture down, you know, at the bottom row, that mm -hmm. is F. That's the big long trunk. And A is that little half square triangle on the corner. Okay. And, and that's next, it. That's it for that page. There's there's three and three. Or there's three. 
There are three pictures up top. Mm -hmm. And then this one down here, I said the bottom set of pictures. See, there's three. Yes. You're going to sew G and D together. And then you're going to add on the B and C that's on the bottom. So that okay. is that row. That light blue square on the bottom is B and the white rectangle is C. Uh, oh, uh, so it's not the big square, it's the rectangle? Yeah, it's a, a long skinny. These two pieces we sewed together back in step. Uh, okay, so what's this one? That first one, that's your... Uh -huh. G well, on D. the bottom. On the bottom, mm -hmm. that big blue is your G. That's your G. That's the block you just assembled. That's okay. your G and D with C and B added to the bottom. So now you have to take your F with your half square triangle A on the bottom corner. Okay, so there's nothing on these blue ones? Nope. That's just, there's nothing else sewed up there. That's just the, that's the head. That's the face, I should say. Okay, so this one down here is G and what? G what's with. In the, okay, what's hold in the little box? Tell me again, Kathy. I just need to know what's in the little box. G and what? It B and C is the little box. B is the light blue. And then C is the long rectangle. But then on that long blue piece, that's F, and A, a background half square triangle is assembled to it. <laughs> oh, man, am I lost. Okay, let me get okay. rid of this off of okay. here. Hold on, hold on. I just... Okay. You're going to write a letter and point to each time you do the pattern. You are going okay. to point. G, G goes right here, right? The big white one is, that's D. D? D is the white square. Okay. And write D on all three across. Okay. And then go down to the next row and write D in that square also. On the bottom here? Yeah. That big, because it's that's okay. just those pieces sewed together. So then what's in these light blue ones going above the D? The big ones or the little ones? The little ones. The little ones are B. All the way? Yes, all the way. B. Okay, the big ones you said there's nothing there. And the, that's that's letter G. There's nothing there. The the blue ones are letter G? Yes, those big square blue are letter G. Okay. And then and then down on the bottom, the okay, strip so right here and that down there. The big long piece is uh -huh. F with A added to it. The big long one is F. Okay. For fun. And then above the D in the blue. That's 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 the letter G again. That is G. That's just that block you just made up top. Now you ignore them because now you only have these two pieces. Okay, so then in this one right here, would it be B? D and B? It's D and G. Which one? Your finger pointed at a white. Sorry, one. this one on the bottom. D and that, what's that up here? That is D. B, okay. D, D as in dog. Yeah, I got it. The white's D. What's the little yeah. one? What's the, the little, little one? The little white one is C and the blue is B. Okay, there's still one left right here on the top where the D is, the blue. What is it? That is B. I don't think I made that many Bs. You, you made two Bs. You got to remember, once you get done with the first square, when, what, Kathy, when you do this, mm -hmm. you sew them together, you forget this. That's, that piece is now this. Then when you sew this piece on, you forget this because it is now this unit. Then when you go down here, you forget this because it's down here being sewed to this. It's just steps. 
So you just okay. got to forget this, forget this, forget this, because these are step one, two, three, and four. As your sewing steps, one, two, three, four, or six, A, B, C, D. Okay, what about um, the next page? The next page is on what they call step seven. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. Well, yeah, the one that looks like the trunk. That's the one I got for my next page. What number's on top? Tell there me isn't. The There's no number. Okay. Oh, here's here's seven. I can do seven first and then do the other one. Okay. What's seven say? That it says J up there in that little white right off the bat. Uh-huh. I see that. And then the big blue is K. That top little corner is A. And then the blue down on the bottom, those are both L's, and the middle is D. And that's what it is put together, right? Yes. Okay. And then, see that trunk thing, this is just, this here is an extension of, I guess, page six. So I'm writing that on there right now. Okay, hang on. I gotta go back and go through it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now you're on that one with the elephant and the trunk part. Right. Okay. The top blue triangle. Uh huh. That's H, and then H. the white parts on each side is I. Okay. And then the bottom white rectangle is E. Okay, that says they e. wrote E in there. Uh huh. So when you get done sewing the first page that says six, you will have that other unit, this trunk one. This okay. page is this one done sewed. So, All right, so this long one right here was the one that we just did over here on the other page? F yes. And F and A? Yes, that's F and mm -hmm. A. Running. This is when it's all sewed together. Right. So if we had to put this 6A, B, C, D, this would be E and F if we do them in steps. Okay, what is the big blue box? That's your D, G, as in gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the large white one? D, as in dog. And the little blue one? B, as in bumblebee. And then on the bottom, the uh, little blue square. The little blue square is B also. And then the, the one next, the C is C for Chase. Yeah, C for Chase. Okay, hold on. I think I got them all. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, it's it's they should have numbered them like six A step A B C D E F. And so it would have been a lot easier. Yes. But I'm not in charge of this company. I know. I can okay. change a later date. So we're on this one first, though. So I need yes. so left side of the block. Okay. I need G, D, and B. Yes. Yeah, so I have the solid three and a half inch, and then I have the three and a half background with the half square triangle on the corner. You place them together and you sew them. What is um, the where you get it on the correct spot? Okay, here's G. No, I need G, not G. G and it, D. G and D, yes, with the, the triangle, because there is right. a D with no anything on it. So when you open it up, it will look like this. Just like in the picture, in step two. I was hoping that would be it, but I put the things back on because if I don't, I get super confused. And because you guys know me, okay, is this it? G and B. I can't see. So no, it's C and D. Where is G? C is that little tiny strip. Yeah. 
that's not the right one but here's a b so that's not the right strip okay so um G, okay here's g g's on the top where's d a lot of pieces to this thing d is your background color uh, with yes. a half or triangle on the corner which was done in this which is the same size as the g right yes okay. they're three and a half inches yes okay oh i think i put the triangle on the wrong side uh, turn your square just turn your square it okay work. i got it i got it okay <laughs> so oh i got scared there for a second all right so sew these two together with uh, G being on the top, right sides together, right? Th that link I posted just a little bit ago, Vicki, should uh -huh. be, be able to put it in download. Vicki McFarland says, I can't get my download yet. Are these pages in a download? They can be. Anything that you can print, you can put in a download. And I posted a link that you'd have to find where the, to get the pattern. And then, like, I got this piece sewed together. Now I'm going to sew the dark, the elephant color to the left-hand side of the white three-and-a-half-inch square that we just sewed together. What part are you on, Vicki McFarland? Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Do y'all know who that's from? Um, you know I love Lucy. Ricky Ricardo. Yeah. Oh, I, I'd hate to be back as bad as they was in the day. Can you imagine all of us getting together, though? It would be terrible. I think it would be fun. Yeah. Would we get anything done? No. Okay. Well, I think so. Maybe two blocks sewn together. That's it. Well. Okay, there's this part. Okay. They're showing... Sandra, they're showing three of these. There's not three of them. There isn't three. I know. They're just showing it. Why are they showing it? Because remember, step one goes together and makes the second picture. Step two goes together, makes the third picture. They go together and they move down and that other one gets together and that makes the step four and it's completed over on that page with no number. So there is only, you're thinking you're making three parts the way they have the picture. Right. But Just I'm remember not. when you get the first picture sewed to the second picture. You've got a lot of pictures. Yeah, there are a lot. And you are done. You, and I you, sewed this on the wrong side. Yeah. So I, Jack just came out. And then you just, the way the picture looks, this is what picture number three looks like right here. I have picture three. This is what picture three looks like. Okay. Because I showed picture one together, made picture two. Then you saw picture, the bottom picture on number two on and makes picture number three so on so forth that's what i did but the one little tiny piece is on the wrong side so i gotta fix it okay so i have and to bring up jack and tracy's trying to help vicky mcfarland for me thank you tracy oh how sweet she gets an a plus from the teacher <laughs> but if you've never been to a quilt retreat or anything like that believe me you spend more time going around seeing what everybody else is doing and you get totally distracted yeah yep i've never been to one but that's what i've heard i've always liked retreats 
but I never sleep at them. <laughs> but, okay. No, what I'm asking is, are these pages in Milk and Honey download? Yes. Mine comes up saying it's an elephant. She says, I'm not sewing because I couldn't follow and can't open the download yet. Okay. But yes, my they do download. Yep, that's how I got it. And if you can't open that download for some reason, you might have a... a Trail wrong, I guess would be the way. Might have to download it several different times. Maybe there's something just out of sync. Okay. Like that. Like this goes like on the bottom. Wait. Yeah. Gee, it's on the bottom. This on top. Can we see if we can stay now? Jeez. Louise. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> and June says it downloaded for me. So all we can do is, it's like her computer might be outdated and don't understand some. I don't know if the pattern's been out. I think I did this elephant the first time in like 2014. Wow. Yeah, it's been out there a while. Long time ago. And we had, I think it was 53 beautiful elephants. Wow. And, and we actually took one and cut up. I had uh, three or four wavy log cabin blocks wrong or extra. We, we cut them up and into the elephant, and it turned out fantastic. Really pretty, huh? And everybody afterwards was going, why didn't I think of that? I have a whole bunch of UFO blocks. <laughs> yeah, because mine's open. I have three elephants saved in the download on this laptop. I have two more on my big laptop, and I have the elephant on my tablet also, which my tablet only opens it to a what, a five by six screen. And Vicki Lemire says, I wish I had ink. Yeah, there's times I understand that. I got mine on Amazon. It was real cheap. Like I bought twenty-one bucks, and I got it was twenty-one dollars, and I got both color and black. And mine's fifty-four at Amazon and sixty something at Walmart. So anything's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so it looks like this. Hold it up! I only see the top. That's right. Okay. Now you're going to sew the... <clears throat> the little piece on the bottom. The, yeah, the BC. Mm -hmm. Mr. B goes to the left and C goes to the right. Okay, B and... Or... That's what it's called. It's part B and C. B is B the, the blue part and C is the white background part. There it is. Okay. We have a new way of describing how we're sewing. Okay, so it's going to go. If people come on and they're wondering what the heck we're talking about. Exactly. Say what, say what, say what? Okay, so the B, it's going to go this way. And, this and that little B is actually Yes, my printer ink at Walmart is 60 bucks, more than the printer. Yep. I paid 49 for my printer. <clears throat> I don't remember what I paid. Mine's white. It's H HP, and it's white. 
Vicky Lemire or says, I have, I got paper. Well. And so Terry says, Kathy, if you use the picture as a guide, it's easier. Uh, Terry, we You're have right. to fill in the blanks because Kathy needed to know what those pictures were. Because she thought she had to make more than one of them. Right. And there's three pictures. Those are just three steps is all they are. Three steps. There's just steps. I don't know why they put it there like that. Oh, Pamela's back for a few minutes. My son is working on my sewing room. That's good. Ooh, ooh hi, Pam. Lucky you. Yeah, but she was busy sewing on her elephant. How, how's your elephant coming, Pamela? I'm ready to work on my ear. Okay. She's got the elephant all together. Is the ear going to have a piercing? No. <laughs> and Vicki L and Vicki M, if you can read the measurements off the screen, you can cut your pieces. Yes, you can. And Pamela says he looks great. Okay. There we go. And Yo Patty says, I have a Canon Prisman printer and my ink is 37. I have a Canon Prisman fine because of the word fine on there. My ink costs more. Ink number 240. Oh, come on. I think it went we on wrong again. On her couch off of her legs. That's. But. Pamela, if you got the elephant all together, waiting for the ears and then that one and a quarter inch headpiece, you can draw down a line or cut off the top one inch. This is wrong, right? Hold it up. Uh... Correct. That's wrong. I put yeah. it on right, then I don't know what happens afterwards. You transfer when you go over to the thing. I know. Because okay. you cut off the top one inch of the elephant or nine and a half up because this inch and a quarter and the ears will be sewed on by them on, the, on that space. Jill thinks she should have it. And Tracy pick. says, my hubby went to the store to get ink for my inkjet printer, but they didn't have any. So he came home with a laser jet printer. I've always wanted one. <laughs> That's and the way to get it. Tracy. Awesome, Tracy. I know. I'm surprised that's not something you already got, Tracy. I don't know if I want a laser jet one. It's like, I don't even know what I have, really, and truthfully. Because I just bought a printer because I was getting, I was coming up in the time. I got a wife wireless one. Hey. Well, I got it all set up, and then my tablet won't accept it anymore. So I'm back to square one. Why did I get a wireless printer if it won't accept it? It should. They should all accept everything. I can do mine on my phone, my tablet, anywhere. Yeah, yeah for some reason it went and took it off. Wow, that is weird. Okay, <clears throat> be it over it's, here. It's just one of those things. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. So I'm glad I have a printer cord because then I just plug it in when I need it. It says saves on toner. I never wanted to spend, this one was over 500. Does wow. this one have the tanks where you put only color as needed in? Mine does. I never know what I'm printing, so I don't know what I need.
Are y'all done with your living room, Tracy? My printer used to only get used at tax time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. It's, Pamela just came back in and Patty says she likes her wireless printer. Yeah, I love mine. Okay. <clears throat> now it's but, right. Like that. I, Pamela, I was telling you, you could go down. If you have your whole elephant together, if it's nine and it, it if it's ten and a half by ten and a half right now, you can go take the top one inch off the head or nine and a half up. Because okay. that's, where the, that's where this one and a quarter inch piece by ten and a half and the ear come in play next. So you okay. can't that's the next step to put the ear on. I measure up nine and a half that way I know I get, I'd rather trim a little bit off. So I'd even go up to nine and five eighths. And Gladys, I have a Hewlett Packer wireless printer. Uh, Vicki Lemire, Vicki McFarland says, so Terry just couldn't draw them off PC, maybe able to when I can see my entire download, don't have a printer. Laura Austin says to Vicki Lemire, if you are on Facebook, you can messenger me your info and I'm happy to print and mail the pattern to you. Oh, how sweet. See, I, I mailed her the pin cushion pattern because she there's one she wanted. And Tracy says, nope, we didn't even work on the living room this weekend. But since hubby is starting a new job Monday, we will spend the rest of this week working on it starting tomorrow. Oh. And yo, Patty, to Pamela Eves, why do I need to update my driver? I got, and then I have to just find my CD now because I have a new Wi-Fi. <clears throat> but until I get the new laptop, I'm not worried about it. I don't print enough off of it to worry about it. Have you made up your mind which laptop you want? When I get to the store, I'll make it up for sure. Because mm -hmm. if they don't have the first one I want, let's say they have yours and it's only the red, but I wanted the silver, then I have to decide if I want that or, or is there a better one? Or a different one, not a better, a different. <laughs> I'm very happy with this one. <clears throat> I love it. I'd be happy with anything that would stay connected or download. I am so tired of this updating and then it doesn't succeed through. Well, you notice nothing has happened since I've been on this one. Yeah, but it's like my, mine is updating constantly and it can't continue to update. So I can take it down to the computer store and lose all of my pictures that are on it. And then on my tablet, I'm always swimming underwater, and that shouldn't happen either, but it does. So I can either go on pixelated to the laptop, or I can come underwater on the tablet, or I can go on this one and hope the battery stays charged and keeps up. <laughs> If I can be the wizard behind the curtain, swimming in oh, the really? ocean, or this one and hope it stays charged because it runs its battery down fast. And Laura Austin, Sandra, you no longer need the CD to update the printer drivers. You can download from the web. Yes, that's why I'm waiting for the new laptop, my new decision. 
and then then I have to figure out how to get it to ping off of that into this over to that. It's like, yeah. So then I have to set up the Chromebook to it, the tablet to it, and the new laptop. And I don't know if my P brain will take all that. I am not technology. I'd have to have Terry get here. Oh, way back when, if Maureen's still listening, I do have your number. I, you give me permission now to call it, so beware. <laughs> it's like, she was the first one that seen my post I put on my, my YouTube on the backside. Yeah. She was the first one that seen it and commented. I couldn't believe how fast. And then Brenda Foley come right behind her. Well, those would be the ones that were already on the Facebook. This the is mid. No, this was, just, yeah, it wasn't on Facebook. Oh. It's the, I have my summer moon box on a small video in my YouTube. I didn't get a notice. They did at midnight. Or is, I figured it was midnight for Marine. Yes. Where does she live? Well, you know where I was. Yeah. Yeah, La La Land. Well, it was only nine o'clock our time, Kathy, when I posted oh. it. I thought you meant midnight um, for us. That would have it, been 11 o'clock. 9 o'clock our time. Midnight. midnight Marines time. Okay. She's East Coast. And you didn't get a notice? No. But, I didn't. And then, nope, I did not. Yeah? Well, I don't know what it is. Uh... And then Gladys is saying hi to June and Vicki McFarland. Vicki Lemire, what a four-way stretch and a two-way stretch fabric. What is a four-way stretch and two-way stretch? I would say spandex. It stretches to fit. It can make anybody wear a size two. I'm not working on upper. Dave, did you run to the store? Yeah. Yes, he always marathons through things from the videos right. I watched. <laughs> okay, so I yes. that would so, be the little first one I made. Yeah, this one. So you on that second page of six now? <clears throat> mm -mm, I'm putting it together. Yeah. Okay. I and I. That's that flying goose unit. Why isn't that going to fit? Mine did. Okay. Oh, G. Uh, G and D and B is this one. Okay. And then we put F and A. All right. I did that. F and A over with that on the bottom <clears throat> of the D and G and all that. Okay. F and A. Yes. Perfect fit. Okay, this fits. Because Maureen, like I said, Maureen was first to respond, and I looked at my watch immediately and said, she's up at midnight? <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you yeah. shocked? Oh, I am. <laughs> well, I haven't shocked anybody seen it, because I had just barely sent Vicki Lemire the, the link. And then Courtney this morning says she likes that I'm putting little things out there, but 
There's another thing about good about YouTube. If you can do a video and download it on there for insurance purposes, if your pictures all get burnt up, if you put a video of all your quilts on there, they, there's proof. It doesn't disappear. Are you getting a lot of views on those, uh, Sandra? I think I have eight views on what I posted last night, last I checked. There but it's just, it's just my friends here. I know. But it could be other people, too, in the, in the YouTube world. Yeah. Well, it's like there's eight thumbs up. And Mona commented, Brenda Foley commented, Kelly's Crafts and Cruises commented. And there's a lot of people that like seeing it. Oh, and uh, Don posted a thing. Someone wanted her opinion on Summer Moon of how small the pieces are and whatnot. And it's like, Courtney asked if she should do Summer Moon and I told her no. Why? Courtney has an, enough going on and then the- Well, she can do it when she catches up on some of the stuff. That's going to be when, in, when you know, what freezes over too. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many other people doing Summer Moon, unless you really, really want it. No. And Dawn, her opinion is it's just too many small parts. Unless oh, you want. It. And then to go back, she figured we're using six inches. What is it? Six inches of extra material in every row, just going across one way on every block because of those frames that are around that block uh -huh. she figures we are using so much extra material why couldn't they have just made the blocks a little bigger that's what i'm saying instead of us having to add all these frames to it i said if i did it over again now that i went to I that I, found something in the car. I would change the frames and yes. I would change the size of the blocks Don't instead of eight and three what? quarters. Can't blame wrong me. I wasn't there. Metaphoral low. Uh huh. And a and a Marco. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. The metal metal is the one I'm looking for. And yeah. well, I don't know when it came, but it was in the back of the car. Okay. In other words, one of the days that I went. I left, forgot it in the car. Did you go to Bartels right now? No. Because there's one there that I need for my blood pressure. I'm not going out. And I have to have it, Dave. I'm out. There is none. Look on the bottle. I'm not going out. Well, can you go, in a little, can you go in a little while? I'm going to refresh to see how many thumbs up we have. Then Jen can help me. We have. Okay, so I got all that. I'm watching and 23 thumbs up. And Vicky mm -hmm. Demir said, hi, Dave. Mm -hmm. Vicky said, hi, Dave. The e. this one. He said, hello, Vicky. <clears throat> so I have. I have. All through six together. Next, I'm starting on seven. If I get to put the elephant's head and trunk on the cutting board for now. And I'm going to sew the other body parts together that are on page seven. And of course, I'm gonna start backwards compared to what they want. I was cutting some of the blocks for the summer moon over the weekend, right? And some of them were one inches and Dave thought, what do you do with one inch blocks? 
you know, how that's that possible? Is that one inch finished or unfinished? Unfinished. unfinished. We have mm -hmm. some three quarter inch half, half square triangles. Yep. Yo, Patty, give it the door. Oh, yo, Patty went over and seen my YouTube too. I'll have to check it out, Sandra. I can't wait for to see everybody else's when they get them more done. I'm not being mean. I just didn't see the notice. It's like, I don't know. I, I was just totally shocked. It's like all of a sudden I get this notification that Marine looked at it and then Brenda People are watching you. It. How come you guys got the stuff and I didn't? I don't get it. <clears throat> I gotta put that thing down. Keep picking the pattern up and over. I almost pressed on my foam board. That wouldn't have been a good thing. No. It might have melted my foam board. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, it's like what pinning. Two eighteen to be exact in my land. Two eighteen. It's five eighteen for Marine and Terry and Lori and Laura. All you guys out there and the East Coast girls versus the West Coast girls. What about well, the Central girls? You guys Central. well. <laughs> I was gonna say, and then the Central time, but. Vicki Lemire's considered an East Coast girl where she lives. I thought she was on Central. Yeah. Oh, she's just up in that little peninsula that's in a different time world. I would have thought the same. Is 419 in Dallas. And that's what time it is for Vicki Robles, right? 419. Right. Yeah. yeah. And see, now I have its head and its body. So I can either connect him the wrong way or connect him the right way. <laughs> Whichever you see. Well, I'm not going to put his head behind him. Vicki Lemire, 520 here. Yep. See, she's in a different time zone. I'll be done. Even though you go from your place and you head up. Yeah, but she. She's a couple states over. Yeah. No, but she's in Michigan. She's to the Minnesota side of she's Wisconsin, which I would have thought would have been well, the same. Well, there's a body of water in between. Yeah. But I would have thought it would have been the same as you are. But wrong. Yep. You never know. Oh, that would be a good one, Vic, Lori. I think I need to start a channel for how to cook with a puck. You can put some up on, you already have the YouTube. Just go ahead and post some of your little memories up there. And then if you want to share them with somebody, they go look. Because my very first one I posted was out feeding pigs. 
I was talking to the pigs as I was feeding them tomatoes and lettuce and stuff. And I thought, I'll record this and put it on YouTube. That way I can say I have a video on YouTube. And then I got to thinking it'd be great for uh, recording uh, like different things on my quilt. So I made a video of all my little quilt pieces. <laughs> I put them in a slideshow. And now I have documented proof on my quilts. That's cute. There you go, good idea. And if good anything idea. happens, there's a video of all the quilts I've made. Yep. It's it's documented proof right there. It is. You're right, and that's a good idea. <clears throat> Real good idea, in fact. Yep. But my head's always thinking of something else. <clears throat> because let's say my house burnt down, there's the photo album of all my quilts. And the insurance company would say, did you really have all them quilts or are you just trying to collect? Maureen says dinner time soon for her. I know what my dinner is because I made chicken, chicken noodle casserole yesterday. So I'm going to eat it t today and tomorrow. I was trying to think of what do I want to eat before I take off to Spokane for the rest of the time. And there's the elephant with the pointed head. The pointed head. Well, he does. I know. I know. So I'm going to go square up my bottom piece before I get ready to do the next piece. <clears throat> Make sure it's all nice and perfect. In this quilting world, perfect is a hard word. Oh my gosh, you're not kidding. <laughs> you are not kidding. Yo, Patty, it's 524 or here and I've been up since 5 a.m. That was me. I think it was Saturday night. I didn't sleep very well. <clears throat> Did I say thank you, Patty, for not posting anything at that time? <laughs> but I don't remember when I got messages. And Vicki LaPierre says, I'm in Marquette County, Michigan, way up in the upper Michigan. Yes. It's like I have people send videos now. It's like <clears throat> I have them blocked on Facebook, so they're sending me. Very pretty. Her elephant is beautiful. It's a checkerboardy. She's just waiting to do the head now. Here's, <clears throat> here's mine, Sandra. Okay, I can see the elephant just fine. Okay, now we're going to work on the top part. The top but or the ear? The top <clears throat> is because we're going to put the ear in now. Right. I put that top piece already. All the pieces are on. Yes, but to add the ear, we <clears throat> have to do another step. Okay. So you have a... 10 and a half or 12 and a half square ruler there by you. Because the only way you're going to measure up nine and a half is something bigger than nine and a half. Um, I lost my clock. Because <clears throat> okay. I, I want you to have the bottom perfectly flat. 
because we're going to go up nine and five eighths and trim off the top of his head. Oh no. Ouch. And that, that's one line past half. Okay, so you said a 10? Yeah, do you have a 10 inch ruler? Yeah, or right here. I got a 10. <clears throat> Slide this back down. Okay, what 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 paper? I mean paper. What fabric should I use? You that one and a quarter inch strip is what you're going to be using. Have you made the ear yet? No. Okay. So get that. Which which you want the ear out of, or do you have two more three and a half inch squares sitting somewhere? No, I haven't cut out any three and a half inch. Okay. The ones I, I did, I, I used. Okay. So whatever <clears throat> color you want the ear, cut out two three and a half inches. Um, then I so, think I'm going to change it to let's trim. Yeah, I don't want that. The blue, I guess, I'll use. The same as the body, not the background. No, no, the background. No, the background shouldn't be his ear. Blue. Or, yeah, the same as the, I don't know. Same as the body should be the ear. Oh, okay. And then you have your inch and a quarter by ten and a half, because I know you cut that out a long time ago. I did, but I don't know where it is. Because that's out of your background. Okay, well, I'll just do another one. It's okay. I don't know where it's at. Okay, but so for this one, you want me to do three and a half and three and a half? Three and a half and three and a half, yes. Okay. You can even cut some, if you want a fussy cut where it's got lots of detail on one of them, you can. But I, I squared up my bottom of the big piece. My big piece does measure <clears throat> ten and a half by ten and a half. But I'm going to trim down to nine and five eighths. I'm going to trim that top part off. And he's going to get a flatter head. I'm just cut straight across and I'll remove this piece here. And then the placement of the ear depends on us. On mine, here, look at the elephant. I place mine where it starts, like a quarter inch into that headpiece. That's where I set mine, and then I pin it. Yeah, I'm still cut. Yeah, I'm going so uh, <clears throat> Pamela can continue hers. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just pinning. And the worst thing about petites, getting a pin through them sometimes is not easy because <laughs> of the tighter thread. Right. And I noticed that too when I was um, pinning. And then <laughs> I just don't like the boutiques. I'm sorry. I don't. My sister doesn't either. And then this piece, that one and a quarter by ten and a half, will sit uh -huh. on top, and you will sew all that and then press it up. <clears throat> I can't believe you pinned it, Sandra. Well, because it. This board, I'm having to hold the elephant up because it's my cutting mat. Things don't stick to the cutting mat or the beans. Yeah, I know. I have that problem too. But I'm just explaining for Pamela so she can you. But uh, Vicky Lemire says he's got cancer on the piece. The mo the piece they cut off of his by his nose, I guess. That was oh. cancerous. Who, Nick? Vic, yeah. 
and she says he's got cancer in the groin right leg prostate cancer oh no oh no they say, uh prostate cancer usually will not kill you because it is the slowest growing cancer out there I thought, but, but it can kill you yes but it's the all the cancer doctors said more likely than not that something else will. My father-in-law had prostate cancer for 17 years and he had a internal bleeding that they could not get to quit. They couldn't find where it was at. They couldn't do anything. And the internal bleeding is what took my father-in-law. Oh, I'm sorry. And my dad wouldn't go get checked, so we don't know if he had it or not. Oh, but my, my brother-in-law has it. And they implanted the lead yeah. into him for his, because his numbers started growing rap, you know, a little bit faster than they wanted to. But they said probably 25, 30 years. That's how long he had it? No, that he, oh. that it would take. And Mona did what came on. She says, hi, Kathy Sander and Jim Sweeney. Hello, and Mona. Hi. How are you? Hi, Mona. They're saying hi to Mona and, and vice versa. We're just busy at work over here, acting like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> the cancer I just want to stress the acting part, right? Yeah. The cancer treatments compared to what they was when my son had cancer in 1982 have improved so tremendously. Oh, yeah. I wish they would. My mom would have gotten it now instead of back when she did. And my my uncle got seeds. What are seeds? What are what? They planted seeds in his pancreas. That's the that's what my brother in law had. They're a lead. They're a lead seed. They're, oh, they're, OK. Yes. And what's that supposed to do? It stops the cancer. Yeah. Oh. And Vicky says they removed the prostate. I've never heard of that. Well, maybe it was in a removable place. It's like, that's what I do every time I go live. Great. Great. Uh, Mona did what? Great. Poor Dumbo is in pieces on the floor. Oh, no, Mona. <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> her short went by so fast that I told her that it was looking great and that Ella said hi <laughs> or Ella from Ella. And then she told me that she had some pieces in wrong. So I had to go and slow down her 15 second video and I found them right off the bat then. But I know what it's like. I went and replaced seven pieces after the elephant was all together. And when I took the piece out, I starched them and cut out my other pieces. So I had to number them. One, two, three, four. If there was four or five sides that sewed, I had to number each one as I took them out. Because my pattern was, paper was long gone. I was going to live with it, but I couldn't. I can't either. Well, shut. There's just times that I can't live with my mistakes, and that happens quite often. Yeah, me too. Oh, Pamela, I have to clean my machine. Big bird nest after changing the bobbin. Oh, no. I had that the other day. I had to clean. I'm like, oh, man. Uh, and Mona did what I kicked and the elephant but the other other than <clears throat> that great day um, yeah her daughter found it good Vicki McFarland my former doctor was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 88, retired in 2013, still alive, and the numbers are still good. Yes, if they can find the numbers and do it. Mona did what? I did 
that, but they didn't go back in right. I took a part and redid the whole part. At least you had the pattern to do that, Mona. You was blessed with that part. You might have had to copy. Did you take it back to the copy, copy shop or did you do each piece individually at home? Except for there are some big pieces in that zone. Okay, ready. Okay, show me what you got now, ready. I, I got the, the... Ten and a half by one and a quarter, and the two three and a half. Okay. Now, this what? is the part you're going to have to pick the watch. I know Jen can do it, or she won't go to the movies tomorrow. It's her choice. Wow. And I'll tell her that. Okay. You want to open the door and let me tell her? She traced them at home. Okay. Okay. So what do I do? Okay. This three and a half inch piece. I'm going to try and get the bright light off of it. Take the one or, or two or what? Your two, your two pieces. Well, just set them right sides together. Okay. okay. Pin them? Yeah, you can pin them. I'll put a pin in mine just to show there's a pin. And my elephant is trying to run away. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe okay. he has to go potty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, no. on the okay on the right side of the three and a half inch square, you're going to draw a diagonal in each corner, and don't worry about what the diagonal is. You just want a diagonal in this corner and the one right below it. Mine are about inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I just took the ruler, laid it up there, and then go, okay, that looks good. Drew a line. Uh, are we gonna go diagonal to diagonal? Well, just in the corner, you're just gonna draw a line. Like pretend there's a one of those smaller ones in there. You are going to just, little diagonal and mine's about inch and a quarter inch and a half on each corner on two corners the top one and the bottom one right below it okay so on the on the top left and the bottom left yes mine are on the right but it's like i okay. don't know what i don't know what you see that's the worst part because what i see here is opposite what i see on youtube i see two pieces put together that's what i see right sides together so i yeah. can go i can go right corners uh quarter and, and inch you said one and a quarter because see i'm holding the ruler up on youtube yeah i don't see it because i'm showing you on youtube and do and do it diagonally just yeah just it'll be just a little fraction of the corner is going to come off just like those ones down on his trunk his chest and his bottom oh, did yeah okay a quarter on, on each on the same side right yes you only need two of those drawn out all right and that's that one paper that they could print okay okay Okay, I got Okey it. Dokey. Okay. And what now? So you got two of them sewed? Not sewed, just drawn. Actually, drawn. Okay. Yes. Now you start start start. You start at the top triangle, sew down that triangle. I back stitched up a quarter of an inch, and then I sewed down to the next triangle, sewed it out, back stitch there, and then I sewed quarter inch around three sides. Uh, uh, you'll have three sides all together. So there'll be a big opening on the top. Okay, so don't worry about the top. Start sewing right here on the line, go down, sew on the line, go, go across, go across, leave the top alone. Yep, because okay. you're gonna turn it right side out. Okay. 
Okie dokie. <laughs> what? Okie dokie. You know, I listened to Sandra way better than I ever did in school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's because you're interested in this. Well, I was interested in school, but I didn't care what the teachers had to say. It's called patience. And a lot of teachers don't have patience. No, they don't. Yep, that's fact. That's why it might, a lot of my teachers wrote everything out on a piece of paper, handed it to us and said, this is what needs to be done by such and such date. He didn't teach as much. He stood in the front of the room and talked. And the girls that was in front of me just kept talking away. Like they had all the stuff they needed. But they just kept talking and talking and talking. And we couldn't hear him over them. So he kind of gave you guys syllabuses to do? Follow the, follow the worksheet? Yep. We had them every week. There was something that had to be turned in on Thursday because when he went home on Friday, there was no school involved except for sports. He was also our one of our coaches, but he didn't want his time interfered. Did you like it that way? I didn't care. I did my homework and got it all done and turned it in. And being that I had a whole month, I could get it all done the first week. And then I just had to listen to what he talked about in class, just in case there was a pop quiz. Was there pop quizzes? Well, if, he, if he had Sometimes. a substitute teacher, we'd always get a pop quiz because the substitute teacher didn't agree with his handing you the piece of paper saying this is what you needed to have done. Right. He did not agree on that. I knew one of them wouldn't. Because that's not the proper way to teach. No, it's not. But Okay. What... All done. Okay. Now, you want trip... me to iron it? Can I iron it? Yes, you can iron it. Let me iron it real quick. Let me iron it real quick. Mona did what? I was never a good at paying attention. I hear you, That's Mona. Neither was I. Me neither. Give me the book. I'm good to go. Hello, I Brenda. School on the bench in the principal's office. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? Yeah, I, mean, I wasn't. A, you know, we did the, um, we called it the, the Great American Smokeout, right? Because in the front of the school, there was about 400 of us that were smoking. Jeez. on campus so the principal came out and starts yelling at us you know you, you smoking blah, blah, blah. and then we're like um you know there's no place to smoke and so they gave us a designated smoking area see it wasn't allowed ever in our school no matter how many people. nothing like contributing to cancer to for yeah, students like right okay. across and, well he school. took he took down all our names but you know yeah. Okay, so do I cut a quarter of an inch away from these? Yes, oh, no. those two those two corners that you cut, yes. Okay. They're Rona probably they still had a smoking there, lounge but... in their school. No way. Yeah. Now we had to go by trees. Yeah. Some some schools did. It's like my class had, I think, 30 kids in the in my grade. That was it. So if you take 30 times 12, that's not a lot of kids in the school. No, but you know what? My class had over 300. And this town has like 30 kids per class too. Sometimes 35. Well, when I went to school, they okay. were classes. Turn it, turn it right side out? Yes, ma'am. I'm kind of following what's going on around here. Yeah, I'm trying to watch what's on there, and yeah, I know. I need my bobkin. I used the end of my scissors. Or my, <laughs> no, maybe I need my um. 
I just don't want to poke through. Sometimes the uh, that purple thing pokes pokes through it. I don't like that. It's like hunting for Pamela sent another picture. Okay, Pam. When I get done with this, we will definitely, I'll definitely go look, okay? Show and tell. Did we get to see them too? Yeah, hers yes. is a very bright. He's he's made out of checkerboards. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because it's like the fun part is getting the picture there. When it comes over to YouTube land, you'll see. Uh, okay. Whenever that might be. He's very bright and colorful. Well, my kind of my kind of picture or whatever yeah. she made. Uh, it's like I'll go over there. It's coming up on YouTube right now on mine. Oh well, I gotta wait as usual. Which I am. Yeah. See, she could put any color ear on that elephant. Yeah. She can just have lots of jewelry that she Not up. here. You got kicked out of school. That's why we did it in front of the office. Because we knew they'd come out. And it worked. <laughs> Well, I mean, I smoked at school, but, you know. Vicki McFarland still having troubles. I have a good idea. when It I was legal. In the PC to come on up, I will take pictures of the pages of my elephant block download, and that way I can sew from the phone. Well, hopefully be tonight. Can I iron this one, too? What, too? This can I iron it? Yeah. Okay. And yo, Patty, I sat with the cool rebels smoking and sitting on the wall across the street from the school. What a rebel, Patty. I know. I was a bad girl. And her block came out just like 10 and just over. I knew, I knew I would get in trouble with my mom and dad, and I didn't. Oh, um, if I would have lit up a cigarette and mom and dad knew about it before, I, it's like, it, if they would have known I bought that pack of cigarettes, I would have been grounded for 30 days. We went to Don Jose's for a Mother's Day and I was in the bathroom smoking. <laughs> That's when I got caught. My mom's all, oh, she's all screaming at me. Oh. Well, my dad smoked, but my Mom was against us kids smoking, and Dad said, "Until you got a job to buy them, he says you're not stealing them from me." Yep, my mom and dad and my brother smoked. Okay, and, so now what do I do? Okay, now you're gonna take your your big block, set your ele elephant and that one and a quarter inch strip to the side. You take your ruler. Did you trim them up? Nine and five eighths yet. Trim what up the 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 big elephant. Here, I'll take the pins oh, out. This guy. Nine and five eighths. Nine and five eighths, nine and three quarters. Whichever you want is fine. But you Yep, he's he's on he's that's where he's at. He's at that size? Yep. Without so you're Without seeing, trimming, yeah. I just, so I did it. I counted it. So you're, you're sewing over a quarter inch seams then. Okay, twenty one to twenty to thirty is nine, and then nine and a quarter. He's over nine and a quarter. Okay. okay. When you put your ten and a half inch ruler on top of them, it says. What measurement? Don't go by your cutting mat. You go by your ruler. Mm. 
My guy measured 10 and a half inches. Okay, he measures. Um, nine and a half. So did you cut the top of his head off already? No. He, he should be 10 and a half. From the bottom, right? From Let the bottom see. of his feet? Down there? On the side, he's, on the other side, he's 10 and a half. But, uh, he should be 10 and a half square. No, he's not. I, mine's 10 and a half, was 10 and a half okay. by 10 and a half. But that's fine. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get my 10 and a half inch um, ruler that you told me to get. Yeah, and that's, you should always set that on top of there. Don't go by the cutting mat. I'm not, I'm going by the ruler. Um, nope, he's nine and a half. That means your seams are way off, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay. So I'm going to put the camera back down. I'm holding up my elephant. So you take the ear and you put the two folded corners go on his bottom, towards his bottom. Okay. And then that top of his head that's up there, uh -huh. you're going to lay that a quarter inch over into that head. And then that's where the ear will be placed. So that's where I said pin that ear right there. A quarter of an inch into the into the head. Into that top point of his yeah. head. Okay. So that's where you put pin number one. And then that one and a half by 10 and a half strip or uh -huh. one and a quarter, that now lays, I'm gonna hold it up again. That lays across the whole top now. And we're gonna pin that or clip it, whichever you want. We're gonna, then we're gonna sew a quarter inch across the whole top. Okay. And then when we get that done and we press that all open, I pick up his ear to the top and then I stitch that seam allowance down because that is the bulky part of his ear. Okay, what about the piece that hasn't been sewn shut yet? On top of the ear? That's, that's the part that's right here in the top of his head. That's the part that goes to the top of the head. Okay. That's the top. So those two angles point towards bottom, his bottom, and that open piece should be on the top. Should I fold it over so that I can sew it? No, it just sits right there. Mine is just sitting here. Oh, because of the quarter of an inch. Okay. Because of that quarter inch allowance. Yes. yes. Okay. So you're just gonna sew this. Well, let me piece. see. Let me see yours. Okay. We gotta wait for the YouTube land to catch up. Of course. Would I want anything different? <laughs> and it's there is an elephant up there right now on my YouTube land. That's so cute. Vicky, we weren't allowed to go to town. You mean when you were a, a teenager, you couldn't go into town and have fun? No. Oh man, I always went everywhere. That's My mom didn't really care what I did. Maybe that's why you fear us Washingtonians, because we was all raised differently, Kathy. Could be. Uh, I the one when I was in a foster home in my junior year, um, we were allowed to go off campus. But the other schools I went to, nope. We wasn't we were allowed off off school any time in our town. We were allowed, um, oh. you know, lunch and all that. We could go. And there's a park we across for the lunch, street. But they yeah. all knew we walked yeah. home for lunch. But they recommended that we all took lunch to school. 
Mom it wasn't until uh, 11th and 12th grade we could leave school for lunch. Okay, I'm still waiting to see your ear. Okay. I, I basically did what I want because my mom didn't care. It was all about my sister. So I was a rebel in disguise. <laughs> I was a very, very, very bad girl. Long to me. I took drugs, smoked, drank. I, I was really bad. I wasn't that ever in my entire life. I am Miss Goody Two-Shoes. I never did uh, drugs. You I and Jen. drugs when I was older. Yeah, well, no, I did it when I was a teenager until I got pregnant with my son. Okay, I can't tell because it's brown. My okay. hand's under it. Oh, okay. I put my hand under there because it's brown. Because <laughs> ear, the ear just starts in the middle of the quarter inch into his head and lays over. See, I was doing it all wrong. Okay, so quarter inch into his head, okay. And then... And then it just lays right across that top seam. Right. So we're, we're chopping off the head? Yeah. Well, see, I don't want this. You know, it's just under there. I can pin the other way, but it's going to take you forever to see it that way, too. Okay. Let me see. Hold your hand under there again. Hey, just a minute. I'm going to get a piece of paper or some white material. There we go. Okay, now it goes to the, it looks like you got it going across his back. No, well, it, his their ears do lay back on their back some. Yeah. But you got to be able to have, they have to have their eye available to see. But yeah. I did well, oh. a part of the head, because let's say his eyes right, right there. I have a dot in my fabric. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> like maybe halfway down the um the is head. Is that right? a pupil? I, I did a quarter inch from one side. Okay, quarter inch. All right. I think I got it. Let me show you. Like that. Uh Show me where the ear is. The ear is coming off right here. Is that the top of the block? Yeah, the part that hasn't been sewn yet. Now you got me all, because I see all sorts of background above it. I know, that's the 10 and a half inch strip that I already sewed on. Oh, it's supposed to be under that. Is the ear on there too, under that? Well, it will be. The yes. ear is supposed to be under that strip. Okay. So that it covers up the hole. So it covers up the, yeah, the raw edge of the ear. That piece is, that's not even on any of the sewing instructions that you have. Uh-oh, Dave's going to yell at me. Why? Hello? Hello? What's up? Not ready. I have to have it, Dave. You cannot leave. It's, I'm waiting for the doctor to call back. Well, I don't know what. I have to have it. Well, you have to call the doctor. I already did. I called this morning. But it's not ready. They're saying they called or something, but the doctor, the doctor didn't call here. Okay, you stay there. Don't move. I'm calling the doctor. Okay. okay. Don't move. I told you I was going to get yelled at. He didn't yell at you. Well, he just made a, a statement that the doctors have not called to approve it. Yeah, but well, didn't you guys notice it in his voice? No. no. We don't know him that well. Medical emergency. 
please hang up and call 911. This call may be recorded for quality and safety purposes. Uh, my for eye drops, I need it. All other languages stay on the line. I need it because of my blood pressure. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. So, it means Kathy has hers figured out. I'm going to sew mine together. All other patients okay. stay on the line. So I can leave that down like that and then sew it all up together? Well, you have to put your ear under that one and a quarter inch strip. Yeah. So you can take it apart from where you want the ear to go to there and then put, tuck it up there. I need to refill my medication. Okay, here you go. That's press one if you use a health point pharmacy or press two for a non-health point pharmacy. Okay, that's what it looks like. And is the ear, the ear is not under that one and a quarter inch strip, right? No, it is. It is under it? Yeah. Okay. The piece that you want the top part that's not sewn. Okay, just a minute. Common questions from the patient. It's all supposed to be sewed together. So it all fell off. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do that again. Okay. I don't know why it fell off, but okay, so just follow the quarter of an inch again, right? I don't know what yeah. the your pieces are is. all sewn together. So go so, ahead and sew it across. Is every single piece sewed together? Do you have any leftover pieces? Okay, so we don't we don't sew the ear down, we leave it flapping in the wind. What I did was I pressed them and then I picked the ear up and I tacked it between here and here. So when the ear laid down, it was flatter under it. Yeah, the ear is just flapping in the wind. Yes. <laughs> I thought that would be cute way to say it. <laughs> yes, the ear is flapping in flapping the wind. Flapping in the wind, right? Okay, let me go take care of this. And then if you don't want it flapping in the wind, then you take and just tack it down in a couple places. No, I think it'll be cute flapping in the wind. But I just took the bulk out of the seam by going underneath its ear and just subtack it down. Don't sew on the ear, just sew under the ear. And it just helps it keep flatter right there because you don't want that seam to turn up. Right. That's for sure. That I know. Okay. Because when Iron. the ear is in the air, you see a lot of the your background stuff. Because like right here, he looks like Dumbo getting ready to fly, that's for sure. Good, Dumbo. Well, Dumbo had those big ears. Oh, Susan can't get a hot spot device. Dang it. Yes, I happen to love Dumbo. I love fairies. So she was hoping to get it so she could come on today. Who? Oh. Susan, you're out, but she can't get, they're all checked out. Susan, what kind of phone do you have? She just uses it for messaging and she doesn't go searching for anything because it uses up all her data and time. She needs to go to, um, Susan, you need to go to, um, uh, what's it called? Um, 
consumer the cellular. One Con yeah, consumer cellular. Yeah, I, think I that's just switched. You can get it all for like twenty what, bucks. Yeah, but still don't get unlimited high speed. Well, no, it's nothing to do with the internet. It's just part of the phone you get. Yeah, well, all of us have internet on our phone. We're just limited to how much high speed we can have. I'm not. Oh, we all are. It just it slows down and you don't notice it. Nope. And all three of us use it. Yeah. It's like I have every family member uses mine when they come in the house. Because their phones don't work in my house. Like right now, Jen's on, on the internet. And yeah. I'm on the internet. And when Dave's home, he's on the internet. But you have it through your apartment, you said, also. though, no, not just your phone. When you're only using your phone for certain things, it should be kicking over to your Wi-Fi. Because I used to have... I never okay, have. Here you go. Mind. I have All never. Done. Seen you know that you okay, where's it here? Questions from the patient portal. I can't see when you hold it down there. Okay. okay. You have an elephant then. Hi. Um, I was wondering what's going on with my medication. Uh, eight twenty-five fifty-eight. <laughs> Yeah. We'll talk Kathy over. Blazer. I can't sing. Can't. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's like keep it off of Kathy. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, she already gave the code. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Doctor thinks all we want is drugs and they won't give them. Says Vicky I, need it. I have to have it. Well, Yo, I'm I, I panic when I'm out of meds. I just a new one. CBS get anyone to work at the pharmacy. This morning at eight twenty six. But it looks like the provider has responded. And unfortunately, we as a can't control them. Oh, I know. I know. I know you can't. You do another urgent one because it's urgent. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe then they'll do something, right? Wait a second. Okay, that'd be great. I wish Dr. Blossom was still there. You don't say that. She's my doctor. <laughs> have a problem, you know. They, they, also, they say it can okay, take well, up five you. Your renewal. Okay, you well, always so work on your renewal a week before. Yeah, I do it five days before. Yeah, if you have a prescription that is needing okay. refilled, that needs to be refilled and it's expired, always mm. start on your doctor before. Well, the thing is, my insurance won't pay for it till. No, I'm out. you contact the doctor's office like you there just you did days and days before. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Well, it's okay, you know, to contact them, but it won't get <laughs> filled until like right no, now. Because they have a life too. They it do? Is, yeah. Is Isn't it, it a part of, Yeah, okay. can't you tell? Her doctor's having a baby. She must have had some family time. <laughs> Let me call Dave back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm being nice. That was funny. Okay, um, hang out. There. She's sending it to the doctor, and the doctor will send it. So it should be, you know, anytime. Okay. Yeah. The doctor looks at the phone. Anytime. That's what she said. So she's sitting. I'm sitting, on the, I'm sitting on the car. Okay, well, just hang out in the car, whatever you're doing. Don't they and send you a message when it's done? Sometimes, sometimes no. Because it's like. But hang out there, take a nap, whatever you want to do. Um, and then what? 
Well, as, if there's a message <laughs> that comes here, I'll let you know, but I'll check with um, Martell. Take a or minute teacher. nap and then go in. Yeah, take about an hour and then go in. An hour? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit out of here an hour. Well, I don't know, Dave. Whatever you want to do. I'd go home and check back just before the store closes. Yeah, but he won't go back. <laughs> I have to have it before tomorrow. I know, but I have to, well, I guess, okay, you can come home, Gabe. You can get it after, and I can take it then. What is after? Tomorrow. After, what? after the it. movie. After the movie, you can you can go get It'll it. be fine. Or, or on your way back from the movie, because you're going to be there anyway. I mean, I, you, you mean you're totally, totally out. Yeah, I, have, I don't have it. Oh. And it's the and one for my blood pressure, so she's sending it urgently again <laughs> for a second time. <laughs> Patty G says, "Smoke a doobie, Dave." <laughs> well, why don't, why don't you call? Why don't you call Bartell? And if they say it's not ready, it's not then I'll come home. Dave, I already know I'm it's not. Okay, well, I know it's not. One medicine, one medicine, you're not going to die. I know that. Pick it up tomorrow, and I can take it tomorrow when you guys get home. Dave, come home, please. Come home, Dave. Please, okay, Dave, you know come home. Hey, we miss you. It's hailing? Dave. Huh? What? Are you? I, I, okay, bye. Jen, come open the door. The, the door? <laughs> come open the window. I want to see this. I want to see the hail. We had ice rain three times last week. Okay, I don't want hail on, on the van. Okay, can you open the curtain anyway? What, what are you going to do? Buy a big umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how Dave is. He doesn't ever want to. He's already in the hail. I know. Okay, enjoy <laughs> that because you're giving me my shower at four. And if you don't, then you don't go see the movie. Dave's your dad's words. Okay. Perfect, Pamela. She's listening. She, yes. she made her elephant with the it's same wild. ear, and it is just as pretty. You growled me. Okay. You want to see my elephant, Jen? Don't you want to see who this is? Yeah, as soon as you see my elephant, I work so hard on. Can you tell hey, it's an elephant? Don't forget to post the picture on Facebook, Look, Pat. His Cassie. ears flapping in the wind. See? Kind of. It's just the other It's just missing the tail, which goes on after you add your other, I other like elephants. It. Okay. It's just the other stuff. So I'll funny. continue I on. I like it. Okay, let's see who we got. Okay, did you see on YouTube, Patty's or Pamela's? YouTube or Facebook? YouTube. No, I did not. Patty's got a YouTube account. No, it should. I my camera is holding hers up with the ear on it. How can you be holding Patty's up? Because she sent me a picture. <laughs> oh no, I did. I didn't see it. Okay, like, I'll look though. You know, it takes forever. I'm posting mine in the comment okay. that I put up. Let yesterday. me know when it comes to the. Okay, I got to go to Facebook though, so I can see. Um... Oh, it was snowing this time last year. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it we was snowing. Off the snow. Facebook. Yeah, that's right. I remember it was snowing on Valentine's Day. Well, that's tomorrow. Who's that? That's the evolved of you two, right? Oh, that's cool. oh Bunny, you got that stuffed animal too. Good job, Jen. All right, so. This is one follow. What? Sort by news. I need to go to my channel. An hour ago, she posted her boutiques that she got. Um, oh, so Terry did. Terry or Patty? Bag. I would go with a diaper bag. That's beautiful fabric, Terry. Right here in the party. Oh, it's getting later. I got to get started. You can give one to me. I can. Okay, diaper bag. I cannot give one. 
lion and giraffe, Sandra's, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's a bummer. I don't know where I could give you one. It's a few. I don't know where copies are. I don't. Oh my gosh, how cute, man. <gasps> Look at what this, guys. Guys. Oh, I love Pam's. Look at her elephant. I know. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And we don't have to wait for YouTube land to see it. Because we're Not working. She sent, it, she sent it to my messenger. Yep. I love that messenger. Very cute memoir. Messenger is, well, it's pretty good good to have it's the i like it because it's easy to forward pictures on it it's easier for me to do that than use my telephone you think my yeah. elephant is in the comments underneath the post yeah, i gotta take a picture of mine see how many people will be tripped out not being able to tell it's an elephant yeah because we're Mine stands out. So my tail will be added on when I put my border. And I have. Well, can't you add more more elephants? Yeah, but you still have to have sashing between them. In other words, the tail is going to go right to their head. I like having a piece of, a piece of fabric between here and there. Oh. I happen to have. Uh, I see. One, two, three inches left. That's it. Of that fabric. Three inches? Yep, three inches of fabric. So I don't I'm think that'll get you far, Sandra. Well, it's because it's scrappy. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. I am not buying fabric. Oh, my husband wishes those words would come out of my mouth. <laughs> 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 they would too, you know, but. And so Pamela's back on the PC and now you just add a sashing of your background or whatever you want to sash. All, if you were going to make multiple elephants, you just put a sashing piece behind his behinder, one in the front, however you want it, and you go from there. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of my elephant. Why? Because it's been a long time since I've taken a picture of anything. I know. We keep saying mm -hmm. Kathy needs to post a picture because we don't mm -hmm. know what she, what it really looks like. We get this little tiny screen up here and that's it. Plan it that way. And we get ice cream from trying to figure out what's what. <laughs> ice cream. Well, it is. It's ice cream. Okay. So I'm sewing my inch and a half piece right. on head and tail. And... Let me go to my photos. No more ice cream. When you want people to post on your page of things they're doing, you also need to do it also. Well, I, I, I try to remember and I say, did I post it? I have to post it. Okay, I'm going to post it right now. How do you if, post it? Okay, I go to Facebook. Because if I go in here and go to your name, it'll tell me everything you've posted. Okay. Um, photo that one have you guys ever seen tom Selleck without a mustache okay that's the one i want no, not okay. Really. okay um hold on and i'll show you tom Selleck without a mustache in just one second okay say something my my elephants, we did 
January 30, you, all of them are, you're welcoming people to your Facebook page. With our teacher, Sandra. And then you posted, I look what I woke up to this morning. I think it's very beautiful. And okay, the elephant is posted. Now, let me show you guys Tom Selleck without a mustache. The last one you posted, picture of a quilt block, October 6, 2022. My love to stitch quilt block. What? That is only block. That's your last block you posted. And then let me, I'm still flipping. I'm going to see if there's any others. Okay. That's so far, we're up to one block. <laughs> I posted more than one. On August 11th, you posted a picture of two blocks. The floating card trick. And the Art Deco Square. Okay, here's Tom Selleck without a mustache. I prefer the mustache. Do you? And then July 23rd, you posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pictures. So you're okay. missing a lot of blocks. I can understand the Black Eyed Susan because you didn't do it or didn't complete it, I should say. It was very, very, very nerve-wracking. I just posted my elephant, okay? okay? I seen your elephant says, Patty. Thank you, Patty. What do you think of it? Does it look like an elephant? I'm going Sandra, back to the top. Sandra, can you post the pages for the elephant on either Facebook or Messenger? My computer won't open download, not even on my desktop. Thanks, says Vicki McFarland. Can I post them? On, yeah, on I send it. Yeah. Probably. Are you talking all six pages, or or what? Because I have the main pages? page with the pieces it needs cut out already on Kathy's. Right. On on the Facebook part of mine. Yes. It's Daddy Chase. Sheesh. And now I gotta go back to Kathy. Oh no, what? Vicky! Vicky said her iPad went dead. I didn't even notice she was gone. Can you come back? Or can you plug it in? Um. Oh. Ooh. That's what uh, I would do. I'd plug it in. Okay, you can get your messenger. So do you need each page individually open is what I need to know. Because some phones won't download them either. Well, it's a good thing you see it. I'm not finding her elephant. It's like, how many times do I have to go out and refresh the page? Who's the elephant? Yours. It's there. I put it up on the on the I page. know you said you did. I but guess. it's like, I'm just saying, no way. Recently, it's like, it. keep, ah. Because I can't look the other way because that's up there. That is craft, recently seen. I want to go to new people. I don't want recently seen. There's her elephant. It's very way better on here than on the YouTube screen. Okay, what do you think of it? I like it. I like how he how he's a bunch of things and he's dreaming all these different foods. The soft pretzel, the donut with the bite out of it, <laughs> nice pink cone, slice of watermelon. Uh, that's pretty good, Sandra. <laughs> You like my interpretation of it? I do. <laughs> don't don't take me to a museum though, please. Please no, don't take me to a museum. Well, See, he's already laying at the beach. The and that, that looks really cute. He's already at the beach, and you're right, he's dreaming of the food. 
Yeah, he's dreaming of all that food he's going to eat. And now, let's see, right down by his trunk, he's got a pretzel and a ice cream cone and a half of a donut. Is that what's at the bottom? The pink one is half a donut, yeah. Okay. Yeah, half a donut and a pretzel. He's sucking it in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I have, because I've Googled or, you know, Googled and searched elephants, my Facebook brings up all sorts of elephant videos. Well, are any as cute as this? Well, when that baby elephant is being attacked by alligators and other things, then it's flipped over in the water trough and it can't get back up and it's going to drown here pretty soon. They're very sad to me, but oh sure. Um, Patty said, Patty said video Shakti, and... I can see your elephant. Good job. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's way better in picture than it is on that little YouTube window. <laughs> it stands I worked, out. I worked more. so hard on it. I it really stands did. Out more on your picture picture than it does up there. The colors were too muted together. Mm -hmm. Well, we got green and we got peach. I'd say peach is the main green and peach. Yeah. And see, we didn't really get to see that up there on YouTube land. It depends on the lighting and everything else. Where right. you pitch. Okay, all pages. I can do that, Vicky. And I got to send Maureen's information to Patty G. And once, one, I, once I understood what to do. Now, I want you to make another elephant, though. It wasn't hard. I want you to make another elephant. So you remember the pattern. Right now? Not right now. If okay. you would, make a, just make another one. I will. That way you're doing it on your own and it gives your... You did a lot of piecing, but it tells you if you understand it now. Because these patterns are all written so differently. And what's the overall block measure now, Kathy? Okay, Vicki. Um, I don't know. I put it away. You already put your elephant away? No, the ruler. Oh. It measures. Around and grab. Nine and a half. Nine. Yeah. Nine. I'm sorry, nine. It majors nine. Nine square. And I don't get that. What is your say? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah. Or 10 and 3 eighths. It's like, because I should have cut a little bit more off the, yeah. But I'm putting a border around it so it doesn't matter as long as they all come out the same. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, I think my little elephant is cute. It is cute. Now, what's, what do you name in yours? I named mine Coco. Okay. He's brown. His name is Spunky. I like that name, Spunky. Write it on his ear so I don't forget. <laughs> and my other elephant's going to oh, be... Oh, no. Like I'll write it right here. His name is Spunky. Spunky the elephant. Right. I can see why you would name yours Coco. That's, you know, that makes total it's brown. sense. Yeah. Yep. Coco or coffee or something like that. I would never name one coffee. Um, Vicky says, I can take a picture of each from Messenger. I will just take a picture of each page and, down, and send it to you. But 
Here's mine with the sashings on the side. That's why yours measures 10 and a half because you got sashing on the side. I don't. No. No, I measured from here to here before I put the sashing on. And it well, measured 10 and a half. Yeah, 10 and a half square before this. Now it measures. Vicki McFarland left, or M Vicki Robles left. <laughs> <laughs> Vicki she missed. left. She left a long time ago. Her iPad died. <laughs> uh, that's who you was talking about, Vicky. And yeah. I can't see the pictures. Because <laughs> I cannot see the picture. With nah, my you're so, sashing you're so on, cute. I, Didn't even on notice. my sashing on, I'm 12 and a half by 10 and a half. With your With sashing. sashing. I thought, well, I checked up to see if my iPad died. <laughs> <laughs> No, I you're still you. here. It's like because okay, I guys. I have I, I have a question. Let's let's all talk. I got a half an hour. What what do y'all want to talk about? I, you finally have my undivided attention. I I did what I needed to do, and and somebody talked and 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 make me laugh. Okay. <laughs> I don't care who, and I don't care if it's about the SAG award or anything like that. Oh, I was telling different people about that. This Courtney and somebody else about it. And they, oh, and I missed it. <laughs> I know we were laughing so hard. It was so it's, fun. It's not the same on replay, but I'll be right back. There you um, are threatening again. Yeah. The peanut award is getting me. <laughs> but I've sat too long also. Yep. Time to get up and walk around. Which I'll be doing pretty soon. Come to think of it, this bear right here, I think it belongs to Chase. I think it's his toy. I'm not sure. But I think this is a cat toy. With uh, catnip. Nobody wants to talk to me? Boy, do I feel unloved. There's an accident on the I-405 South. I've never seen them say that before. Wow. Pam, I got the elephant posted in the group and my Facebook. Okay, let me go check it out, Pam. In the group. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Love it, love it. I love it. Okay. I even wrote beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. You're so sweet. You are really sweet. I appreciate that. I do, I do. I was just so involved in this elephant that you, you guys notice that when I get involved in something, I kind of just get involved and do my own thing. Pam says, I had a, I had a bunch of sewing jokes today. They were strung seamlessly together. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Patty. Let's, let's hear some, huh? I had so much fun with the pattern. I did too, Pamela. And see, Sandra wants me to make another one, so I can do that. I was going to... See, I still have these. this one left, and that's part of the, the beach, you know, the barbecue, the wine, the, the, the sauce, the ketchup, the mustard. It's all here. And... So that's why I was debating on whether or not. So maybe I can do another elephant with this and um, one of these. The, that quarter bundle. It's just maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I like my elephant, though. Okay, so who has some jokes? Come on. 
I know you all have jokes. Come on. I joke as I got up this morning. <laughs> it's not a joke. That's a blessing. <laughs> At our age, whenever we wake up, it's a blessing. Well, when I seen every time, every hour, sometimes it's like I want to sleep. Oh, Coco's cute. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> They're all strung together. <laughs> oh, Patty, you're too much. There's my herd of elephants. Like, Your herd? Well, it's more than one, so it'd be a herd, right? So is that your third or your fourth elephant? It's like, can't see them yet. It's like, and, and yeah, that would be a herd. Three is a herd. There. You can just barely see it up there. Is there three of them? I put pinky and purple up there. Oh, this is YouTube. Okay, Vicki. Thank yeah. you, Sandra. Can't get any downloads on pc to open maybe um can figure it out maybe uh -huh. my eyes today okay maybe sun can figure it out okay sometimes i can see and sometimes i can't but the glasses sometimes make my eyes tired Can you see the elephant jet behind me? No. Why do you why do you never iron? Okay, well, this is from Maureen. Hi Maureen. Why do you never iron a four-leaf clover? I don't know. Oh, don't press your luck. Ha, <laughs> good one. Is that it? That's good, Sandra. Don't press your luck. Well, that cake came to you to fly, didn't it? Anybody know the hope. answer? There's hope to my brain some days. Mona says that your elephants are are, are a stampede. That be are. true. Uh-huh. That'd be true. Sandra got it. Good job, Sandra. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> well, that's debatable. But <laughs> There's days I wonder. I know you're like, uh, I don't know. Oh, don't press your luck. And then Patty says, way to go, Sandra. I mean, you got it on the fly right away. Well, sometimes I can. Yeah, that's sometimes proof. I can. Sometimes I can't. Congratulations to you. To you, to you. Hey, we got 28 Watson right now. Far out. Let's go back to the 60s. Far out. Peace. I love those peace signs, you know. I have one to cross stitch around here somewhere. Or maybe it's to latch up, but I do have the peace sign. I need to do. Oh, 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 you guys, I was going to show you. I found the bag that has my good um, cross stitch, I mean, latch hook hook. Remember, I told you I had a really nice one and it has a purple, um, you know, I can't get this off. I'm sorry, but this is wooden and it's so easy to, to, to do. I love it. I love it. It's it's I've had it for a while now. But this is Kush. It pushes in. And it was for the latch hooks. I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot because I don't like stuff that's hard. Patty, how do quilting babies learn to walk? How do quilting babies learn to walk? With a walking foot? I was going to say follow the patches. How do you... One step at a time? It's oh. like... 
That's how we would, one step at a time. Um, that's how you quilt. You quilt one step at a time. Sandra, I think you're on a roll. I don't know. There's so many ways you could answer. With a oh. walking foot. Yep. There you go. Way to go, Sandra. It's pretty good. So let me let me let me summarize this. Um you won't be here tomorrow. I'm here tomorrow. I'm not oh. Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday you'll be gone. Wednesday and Thursday. But are I'll be gone. Um are you leaving uh I have to leave here at 9 30 Wednesday morning. What time's your eye appointment? Eleven. Sandra is two for two. I know she is. Pamela, I haven't latched hook in a long time. Dinner is ready. Be back later. Okay, Pam. Um, I won't be here. I'm leaving early today. I'm leaving at four. Okay. Yep. This is my little latch hook. And check it out, Sandra. It has a purple cushion on it. Yeah. That is purple. My latch hooks are both wooden handles. Yeah. Well, this is wooden. It's Caron, I think. But it's wooden. I love this one. I've been looking for it, and then all of a sudden, it just showed up. Why are Christmas trees so bad at sewing? You want me to answer that? I know it. Okay, yeah. I they lose their needles. <laughs> Who told you that one? Huh? Who told you that one? Me. Because they lose their needle. Yep. Way to go, Sandra. That's what Karen says, too. You guys both win. You win. Because you had to type it in, Karen. Um, Susie Gabbard. Hi, lady. How's everyone doing? We're, I'm doing fantastic. Hello, Susie. How are you? Glad to see you here. I don't think, have you ever been here before? I don't know. Gabbard. Susie Gabbard. Well, I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you for joining us. We just yes, got done making you. elephants. Um, sure. Patty, Patty says they always drop their needles. Yes. She's saying hi to people. Maureen says, you're rocking it, Sandra. <laughs> you know that white, that white underneath the elephants right there, whatever that white thing is? That white thing is that frog. It looks like that's, a giant pad. That's how large we enlarge that frog to. Wow. But oh, that, thank yeah. you so much, Susie. This is your second time here. Well, welcome. I recently subscribed to your channel, she says. Welcome, welcome. Always glad to have pe new people here. You're, you're more than welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. This is what we made today. It's my elephant. And his ear flaps in the wind, see? Say, what wind? <laughs> Um, oh, oh, I don't like gloss, Vicky. Never did. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like. I don't, yeah. It's, I don't like spaghetti noodle, and I don't like the, the goulash noodle I have to eat like two days old. Spaghetti I can suffer through, but it's like, it takes me a while. I love spaghetti. I just can't stand goulash. My mom used to make like it a lot. The first, the first day is terrible. Now, is my grandson here or someplace else? My mom this ate it a lot because it was inexpensive. Sandra, are you going to stuff the frog with polyfill or plastic beads? It will be those little plastic beanbag pellets. Yeah, those foamy things. Those Super things light that expensive. stick to you. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, Vicky. Dang it. I was finally able to open my download with pages by moving download to MS Word doc. It opened with all pages. Go figure. Well, I'm glad you got it, Vicky. Because I was just gonna send them to you. 
Now, pot roast is my favorite. If mm. I had to choose between goulash and pot roast, it'd be pot roast, pot roast, pot roast. Oh, for sure. With carrots and baked po and baked potatoes, potatoes around it. Um, Gladys says, I got a good report from the eye doctor today. I don't need shots. Oh, that's wonderful, Gladys. I'm so now, that was for, for her you. glaucoma dry eye or um, oh. Vicky, go join Kathy in the group. It says Vicky to Susie and Maureen. I love goulash and pot roast. And Vicky, use elbow noodles. I think that's what we, I don't know. I don't like goulash. Yeah. Don't like it. I'm not a fan of a lot of the pastas. I can do the penny pasta noodle and I can eat that the same day. But it's just weird how. I don't like the spaghetti noodles, and then I don't like the, I'll eat the lasagna, penny pasta. I don't like the, the gluten-free has to be the rice ones, not the corn ones. I made with the corn one, and I thought I was eating a Frito, not a pasta. The corn pasta, because of the gluten. Uh, hey, I like I like Fritos. Yeah, but not my spaghetti. Yeah, I know. I agree. Maureen, that's great, Gladys. My neighbor gets them and she dreads getting it done. I can imagine. Oh, man. I'm so happy for you, Gladys. I wouldn't want shots in my eyes. Yeah, there's a, what's uh, macular. That's what it is. There's a dry macular that they have to have injections in their eyes once a month. I have um, glaucoma, I think, in my eye. I can barely see out of my left. I can the, do shapes and I can tell colors. No, well, maybe not. But it's not as clear as my right. That's for sure. Um, Gladys, for mas vascular degeneration. Yeah. From, so she doesn't have the dry eye one, evidently. Because the no. dry eye one is the one that you need the shots. Patty says, well, you're going to need a ton of plastic pellets at $10 for two pounds. Yeah, I knew they were expensive. I have, I knew it. I bought a couple for my frog. But you're going to be spending a lot of money, to, um, Sandra. The one that I, we got last time was PP2. And it's that's the that's the weighted one. What size bag is it? We had a great big huge bag. Yeah, what's a kilogram? I'm not a drug dealer. <laughs> you think we are? <laughs> well, that's the first thing they put on here. It's a kilo. I'm not know. a drug dealer, people. I don't know what a kilo is. I don't either. Lori would be the one that can translate that just like that for us because she's Canada. Jeez, what is wrong with you today, honey? You've been so precious with your mommy. I can't believe you opened your mouth. Oh, no. But, I, see, they I, say I, they're plastic. They used to, it's like, I'd have to look. And it's 10 pounds. Or it's, it's forty bucks. It's, yeah, it's like, or forty bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna be. Paid, we only paid twenty bucks for the great big bag that filled that guy, and we had leftover. Oh, a kilo is two two pounds. I I enlarged the picture. I was telling Dave, uh, Chase earlier, you better shape up or ship out. <laughs> okay. Vicki, Sandra, it didn't work. If you don't mind, send it, please. Oh, okay. It okay. <laughs> Patty, kilo is 2.2 pounds. I only know because I just Googled it. Nah, -uh, you're a drug dealer. Come on. Come on. Admit it. Admit it, <laughs> Admit it Patty. Come on. <laughs> we know. Because, huh. I mean, we watched the news and they gave kilogram this, this. But down in their description, they say it's only got one. Point one kil kilograms. 
No one. That's looking. what it says down in their details. That doesn't make any sense. No. Oh. Oh, your dad got the yellow? Nice. Now you got two. Because it isn't the poly pellets that I want. That's the thing. They're white. Anything, if, if we ever want to know anything else about drugs, ask Patty. <laughs> She'll know the answer. Very pretty, Jim. She will definitely know. Right, Patty? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Just kidding with you. I know. How do they expect us to know that? We didn't go to school back then. I mean, because I have really a whole box that. of those heavy duty things. You want to be able to uh, pick it up. Yes. But the bean bags used to have those things that you stick your arm in and you come out and they're all stuck to your arm. These won't do that. Yeah. What was that called? Um, bean bag pellets yeah but That's they were like bag. foam type things yeah that would stick to your arm yeah i remember that i'm gonna go back to foam pellets jen's got a couple bean bags um the light for the bean bags Black okay Hawk. i'm gonna go there yeah big joe that's it that's who we bought big joe <laughs> stop i'm not a druggie now says patty <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and the Sandra bag we says, bought was Big Joe. Around two, it surely says styrofoam pellets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the frog, this pattern on the back, that's one fourth of the frog. That's half of his front body. And the other half is still folded up right here. This that's is his backside. Be, that's going to be one big frog, Sandra. Well, for a bean bag for a two-year-old, it needs to be big. That's why we made it bigger yet. Who who did you give? Who are you giving it to? It'll be for Coda and Aspen, or I'll put a big frog out here on my front porch. Big Joe comes seventy-five liters of beads for seventeen dollars. How much is a liter? I'm gonna, how, much, how much is a liter? We had the 75 pound, 75 liter bag and we had leftover. Um, Patty's, my chihuahua loves bean bags. She will show teeth if anyone goes near hers. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Jen's got two. So if you take 75 liters and you throw them into a, a tote, I don't know how much space it would be. And then if you want a two pack, it's like, really? And then we put a little bit after we put them in and then we finish stuffing, we put polyfill. So the dang things would quit coming out the hole. Because every time you'd move it, you know, that air pressure mm -hmm. that from us moving it, they would shoot out the hole as we're trying to sew it shut. Yep, you so got to be careful. I had poly pellets all over my dining room over there where I live it and before my good chance. We we're finding it all over the place. I'm trying to see if they say how much mm -hmm. they recommend. Yeah, the pellets. Oh, you never made one yeah. I know, I still have it. And then you can get the, yours. the peanut looking ones. Oh, or the one, they call them beans. They have that bag too, but it's like. But Big Joe is what we bought. 70, a 75 liter bag. Do you know what would be really cute? And an elephant quilt. Okay, Susie's leaving. She's going over to a, a friend's that's about to go live. Oh, I'll is it tea? Are you going have to have a good evening, Susie? Yes, you have a good evening over there. I'm sure you're going to tea quilts. I saw her um her notice come up. 
Okay. But thank you so much for coming, Susie. Have a great time over there, okay? Because we love our ladies. Jen's having issues opening the. They say the bag is 11 inches tall, 37 inches long, and oh, 11 deep, 37 inches wide, and 20 inches tall. That's what seven liters is, 75 liters. That's a good sized bag of. And you paid how much for it? $17. Wow, there you go. That's what it costs right now. Oh, Donna's going live. Yes, okay. I got it from both of them. Okay. Donna's going on. Okay. Well, unusual for me, everybody, but guess what? Time Kathy's to leaving because she has other things to do at four o'clock. Yes. I got to take my shower a day early so that. Oh, no. They can go see Titanic. Oh, no, what? You're, you're taking your shower a day early. Well, when I wash my hair, yeah. I like to wash it on, on Tuesdays and Fridays. But it's okay. One day early won't hurt anything. Yeah, it's like. I think I'll survive. It's like. Whatever I get in the mood. I don't have a set anything. You don't? When I feel like it. Maureen, I go there when Kathy and Sandra are off. I know you go. You're always with us. And I love that, Maureen. I'm so glad that you do it that way. I like it. Okay. So, um, mom is not heavy. <laughs> Jen's, I'm not willing, Mom. She's heavy. Okay, Jen. 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 Quiet, please. They're making fun of me. Well, they they're, can make all the fun they want. They're all your mom starting to get fat. I mean, seriously. I am a little bit in my gut, but that's it. Nowhere else. Just saying. Yeah. We, we, no would ground, we would be grounded no matter what our age was if we said that to, about anybody anytime what being fat yeah would you really yep because that's disrespectful yeah yeah it is I um i don't like same here shower when i stink eat when i'm hungry and sleep when i want I'm a free bird. Yep. <laughs> Patty. Part of retirement. Gladys, that is not nice to say. I agree. <laughs> and yo, know, I like yo Patty's definition of it. Same here. Shower when I stink, eat when I'm hungry, sleep when yep, I want. I want yep. I'm a free bird. Maureen, heavy, heavy, thin, who cares as long as you feel good and have health? Who cares? Exactly, Maureen. I agree. I agree with you 100%. What? Well, yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, Jay's kicking me off the computer, you guys. Okay. It's 4 o'clock. Have a good night, everybody. Okay, and also, um, Melissa has a special guest coming on. Who? I don't know. Just says Monday night chat with a special guest. On yep. Melissa? On Melissa. Oh, cool. Yep. Why are you still getting her notifications? I don't know. I've been getting them all along. Her her, and Colleen. Well, you're still subscribed then. No, I'm not. She kicked me off of everything. Uh, no. She kicked me off. 
Well, it doesn't matter if you're kicked off. It's still subscribed because I don't get notifications for anybody I'm not subscribed to. Not subscribed to her, Sandra. She, she, I, I got myself off. She kicked me off. And that's that. All right. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. I know we've been having a long day and a lot of fun. But we can do it again tomorrow. We can continue. What do you think? Huh? With Bye, no guys. Yeah, we won't have any interruptions because Dave and Jen will be at Titanic seeing the movie. So, hey, you know. <laughs> He's got, Dave's going to have to make you a sack lunch. I know. So you guys have a great evening, and we will see you tomorrow, okay? Love you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Sandra, for the elephant. No problem. Sending that off, Vicky. Bye.